www.glycards.com. Glycards coverage of IBEW Local 369 Louisville Football Friday starts now. Tonight at Veterans Memorial Stadium, there's a district title on the line when Mayo meets Bullet East, but Deion Reese, there could be a lot more on the line tonight. It's a grudge match. Bullet East takes down Mayo twice last year, including in the state title game, and the Bulldogs are playing some fine football at the right time. This is a grudge match, and I expect a competitive game, but uh, uh, I just have a little insider knowledge. This is personal to the Bulldogs. Uh, uh, they are not happy about that loss they took in last year's championship, and I look for them to come out and uh, really, really put on a tough, tough uh, 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 show for the uh, uh, Bullet East uh, team tonight. Yeah, Keegan Kendrick and Bullet East, uh, he wins the state championship his first year. I talked with him early in the season and said, now, welcome to life with a target on your back. That said, the Chargers are 7-1, and one, but maybe the schedule a couple notches below what Mail has come in at 7-1 and one against. Yeah, I would say the same thing. I looked at that, and uh, no matter the schedule, these guys are the defending championships. They have a really good system, and they're putting points on the board. You know, yeah. I don't care who you're playing. You know, they're able to get into the end zone through the air, and I expect, uh, again, just a tough fight from them as well tonight. District title on the line, possible preview of another postseason matchup. Mail and Bullet East coming up here on Glycott. Good evening. Joining me again, Dion Reese. I'm Joe Cox. And that Bullet East Mail Showdown is now imminent, only about 28 minutes away. At the moment, it's a pretty nice night for football. It could change, and that leads me to my first point of the night, Dion, which is Thomas Carwash is back for another season of Bulldog football on Glycod and proud to sponsor tonight's weather forecast. They've been fastest and finest since 1946. Take it to Thomas. About 58 degrees. We've got the windows open in the box. So breezy but comfortable. I, I don't mind this kind of weather. This this feels like football weather to me, Dion. You hit it right on the nose. This is football weather. I mean, when you're out there on the field, uh, uh, this is this is, might be the perfect temperature, to be quite honest. So, you know, great night for some football. Yeah, it says no rain expected. A lot of gray clouds, but they've just been hanging out, and hopefully we can keep them there. A little bit of a breeze could affect the kicking game, maybe possibly the passing game. Uh, which would probably be good news for Bullet East because Mayo coming in, seven touchdowns last week for Coulter Smith. They threw the ball pretty much at will a week ago, and, you know, they'd love to do it tonight. Oh, and I'm sure they're going to try it, but it's going to take a little bit more than a uh, win uh, to stop this Mayo Bulldog <laughs> offense. Uh, they do everything. You know, they run the ball well. They throw the ball well. So it's going to be a tough challenge for the uh, Bullet East tonight. Well, a lesson I learned a year ago was don't give any disrespect to Bullet East. They're 7-1. and one. We're going to step aside for a word from our sponsors, but on the other side of that break, some pregame comments from championship winning head coach Keegan Kendrick of the Bullet East Chargers. Stay tuned. Mail and Bullet East coming up on Glycod. Family owned and operated since 1946, Thomas Car Wash has specialized in making Louisville cars look fresh and clean. Co-owned by 2006 Mill graduate Alex Thomas, Thomas Car Wash has four convenient locations, including their newly renovated one at 5321 Preston Highway, just a mile down from Mail. Additional locations include 6511 Preston Highway, 4139 Bardstown Road, and one at the intersection of Hurstbourne Parkway and Taylorsville Road. From full service to express washes to detailing and towel drying, wash local with Thomas Car Wash. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal call state farm agent brian morrison in louisville today like a good neighbor state farm is there
Tradition means values, and we want a banker who has the same philosophy. Traditional Bank is a Kentucky-based business, and that does mean a lot to a business that is based in Kentucky. They know what we're going through. They are always there for us, and that means more than anything else. My name is Allison. I choose Traditional Bank because of the personal service. Paddle on into Canoe, Kentucky. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. When you're buying or selling a new home and you want to do it with few hassles, count on Polo Real Estate Group. Founded and owned by 1993 male high graduate Dion Reese, Polo Real Estate has over two decades of experience and offers skillful consultation and representation for your sale or purchase. If you're a new or experienced agent and you would like to join Polo Real Estate, contact them at 502-702-7656. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. This edition of Coach's Comments is brought to you by Polo Real Estate Group, representing the region's finest properties with exceptional skill, using the most innovative technologies available. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Joe Cox here, chatting with Keegan Kendrick, the head coach at Bullet East, as they prepare for their matchup with Mayo. Coach, I'm probably not alone in thinking this, but I'll be honest and say it. A year ago, it was your game with Mayo that kind of put your Chargers on my map as a team to watch down the stretch. Um, you come in again, having had a successful run, an early loss, and then a lot of wins. Are you happy with where your team's at now? Uh, I don't know if we're ever fully happy but we're very confident where we're at you know mm -hmm. we want to you know we want to keep chasing that ultimate goal and continue to strive to get better to be as good as we can to you know try to make a run and win another title but you know i, I like where we're at right now i like where uh our kids are mentally and how they're playing and so so i'm excited i'm excited for this game i know a uh, part of your big run here uh you know i had your game in week two and Jack Zwerneman was having some growing pains then as your starting quarterback. But since then, uh, you know, he's put it together, having a nice year throwing it, having a nice year running it. Uh, where are you with Jack right now, and what do you need from him against Mayo? Yeah, Jack's been uh, an absolute gift of, a, of an athlete, which he has been for the last couple of years. He's been playing, you know, since he was a freshman defensively. But, uh, um, you know, he's had a wonderful year at quarterback. Um, he certainly makes my job easier as the offensive caller. Um, you know, when you can, when you have an athlete like that who can uh, spread the ball around and make defenses stretch the field, and then can run the ball up underneath. Um, you know, he's, he's he certainly makes my job easier. You know, we'll need him to be uh, smart with the ball tonight, uh, protect the football if something's not there, uh, to not stress out. You know, and just just take what the defense gives him. Uh, and I think if he does that, then then we should have some success. Yeah, probably an underrated part of your success, both last year and this year, uh, is your defense. And you guys have had a lot of success in taking away the big play. Now, you get a male team that's been pretty good at putting together the big play. Uh, you know, How do you approach male? Does it change what you do, or do you just say, we do what we do defensively no matter who we're playing? No, I think they've got a few guys you certainly have the game plan for. Um, you know, they have – a few really special athletes over there, you know, uh, Max Ganey, Antonio Harris, uh, you know, I wish they had those guys last year. And, and, you know, so we're, we're very familiar with them and how, how potent of weapons they are. So, uh, you know, there's certain, certain, there's certainly people that we have to, uh, keep an eye on and not lose track of. 
Uh, and like you said, you know, our goal is to try to take away that big play to the best of our ability and make them uh, be patient and drive the field. Well, and your defense has picked up, if I've got this right, I've got 23 turnovers for us, which is phenomenal. I mean, is that a situation where it's about just getting the offense uncomfortable and capitalizing? Do you have specific stuff that you scheme week to week? I guess, again, is it kind of just general principles, or are you going to pull out some new wrinkles for Mayo? Uh, no, as far as taking the ball away, it's something we work you know, week to week. We, do, we, we put a big emphasis on uh, trying to create turnovers, um, you know, I think I think winning the turnover battle is a big uh, statistic that that helps teams to win. So that's something we've in our program placed emphasis on. And uh, Coach Thornsby, our defensive coordinator, does a great job of uh, you know getting that taught. You know, our kids have found ways to get the ball back. Mm-hmm. Well, that is Keegan Kendrick from Bullet East. Bullet East to Mayo coming up here on Glycott. When you're buying or selling a new home and you want to do it with few hassles, count on Polo Real Estate Group. Founded and owned by 1993 Mail High graduate Dion Reese, Polo Real Estate has over two decades of experience and offers skillful consultation and representation for your sale or purchase. If you're a new or experienced agent and you would like to join Polo Real Estate, contact them at 502-702-7656. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. Go ahead, pour it on, as thick as you want to. Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering. Serving up the tastiest ribs, chicken, brisket, brown sugar sticky wings, mutton and ham. Always served to you fresh and so good, it'll make you say, Holy Smokes! Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering, 7508 Preston Highway. Holy Smokes! For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets. Cuckoo crusties. There's no promo. It's just great rates. And a cider ranch. For surprisingly great rates and great service, call State Farm agent Mike Shelton in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path. Rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. And we're back to Veterans Memorial Stadium here at Mayo High School. And having heard from Coach Kendrick and his 7-1 and one Chargers, time to talk about tonight's keys to the game, which are presented by IBEW Local 369. Power up your potential. Dion, you know, for Bullet East, you, you picked a couple of good ones there. Those 23 turnovers they've forced among the most in the state, most fumbles forced in the state, and they really want to continue that on that side of the ball, don't they? 
Oh, no doubt about it. I mean, that's pretty impressive. And, you know, you heard Coach before the game saying they practice on that weekly. So, uh, uh, you know, if they can force some turnovers and uh, get a couple of extra possessions, uh, that'll help towards uh, um, their goal of trying to win this game. And then, of course, they've got to protect it themselves. I had their only loss of the year against PRP, and they had at least three turnovers that night because Santana Creighton uh, from PRP had three interceptions. So they, they definitely are in a situation here where they want to be, I would think, at least plus one and maybe plus two on the turnover battle to feel like they've got a chance down the stretch at this ball game. No doubt about it. And, uh, again, you know, they're not leading the state by accident. You know, they're sure. intentional, and uh, we'll see if the uh, Bulldogs can protect the ball tonight. And then for the Bulldogs, defensively, they want to get after Bullet East quarterback Jack Zwerneman. A year ago, it was Travis Egan, who was Mr. Football. And, of course, he picked up a pair of wins against the Bulldogs. It's going to be big shoes for Zwerneman to fill. And Mayo wants to keep him far, far away from those shoes. Oh, no doubt about it. I mean, he's had a pretty solid season. I mean, he's thrown, I believe, 20 touchdowns. Uh, uh, he's one of the top uh, uh, in passing yards and touchdowns in the state. So, uh, uh, he's not a guy you want sitting back there with a lot of time to make decisions. Yeah, and then... And the Bulldogs going to try to protect it themselves. They come in off their best offensive performance of the season, uh, put up 61, scored uh, every time they had the ball except for the times they ran out the halves. So you can't do better than not being stopped all day, but uh, they, they'd be pretty happy to replicate some of that form tonight. Oh, no doubt about it. I mean, the Bulldogs have gotten stronger and stronger as the season has gone on. And, again, uh, uh, Bullet East has got their hands full tonight trying to stop that male offense. Before we go any further, I want to mention that this broadcast is authorized by Mail High School with production rights owned by Glycod Media. Our aim is to provide the most positive representation for all participating student athletes, coaches, and game personnel. We thank you for watching. It's senior night among all the other things tonight here at Mail. They honored the seniors in the pregame. We're going to step aside for another word from our sponsors. And on the other side of that break, some pregame comments from the man behind the Bulldog success, head coach Chris Wolf. Stay tuned. Just 12 minutes away from Mail and Bullet East on Glycott. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path, rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something at school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. Go ahead, pour it on as thick as you want to. Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering. Serving up the tastiest ribs, chicken, brisket, brown sugar sticky wings, mutton and ham. Always served to you fresh and so good, it'll make you say, Holy Smokes! Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering. 7508 Preston Highway. Holy smokes! I'm your overly competitive brother. Psych! And I'm about to steal this game from you. Just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? No! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> and if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Contact Louisville and Lexington All-State agent Thomas Allen for a quote today. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. Blind Select, not just blind. Blind Select, not just blind. 
You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Joe Cox talking to Coach Chris Wolf ahead of tonight's matchup with Bullet East. Coach, a year ago, I know this Bullet East team kind of snuck up on me. You guys had two epic matchups with them. Of course, ended up on the short side of both of those. Um, but this is a dawning program, and they've really built something special down there. Yeah, they, um, you know, they had a great class last year, and we saw that as we played them over the years when when they started all those guys as sophomores, and then of course as juniors. And even though the scores didn't indicate, you could see um, as those guys mature in that class, uh, which uh, I guess came together last year, um, you could see that their potential was uh, pretty high. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, They uh, lose, of course, Mr. Football at quarterback, but they're doing the same kind of dual threat thing with their current guys, Werneman. I know you and I have talked about this because you see it some throughout the year, uh, the whole dual threat quarterback thing. Does it just mean you've got to be more disciplined defensively? Yeah, it it helps the offense with the numbers as far as um, the defense not having a plus one. We had it in 2018 with – Garrett Dennis, and uh, he led us to the state championship that year. Mm-hmm. It's it's just when you have your best runner or one of your better runners at quarterback, it just it makes the math work a whole lot better for the offensive coordinator. Well, that leads into something I've meant to ask you about, uh, Shemai Gates in the Wildcat for you guys. Uh, you talk about getting that plus one, and obviously that's a pretty good way to do that. Uh, Shemai's been pretty effective in that. Is that going to be a wrinkle we're going to continue to see? Yeah, it actually um, is probably more of our uh, short yardage effectiveness is not really necessarily out for uh, the first and 10 type thing out on the field. But in the short yardage and, of course, the goal line and and red zone, it's been very effective. Um, The other part of that is it gets both running backs on the field at the same time, the Chase Burton and and Shemai, so that's Mm -hmm. an added bonus. Yeah, and, and to follow up on that, to another thing I want to address, you talk about pairs, and you got a pair of great running backs, but uh, last week, in large part, showed off a pair of outstanding receivers. Everybody knows about Max Ganey. Antonio Harris, uh, you know, got to see a good deal of last year, but he has a big game. How much does it help you to have two guys like that? Because, you know, you can't double two guys. I think it almost makes it inevitable uh, that defenses kind of have to pick their poison in the passing game against you guys. Well, that was one of the big changes from the St. X game is we, we needed to get Antonio back on offense more full-time, and uh, that's that's helped the offense considerably. He made some big plays in the very next game against Trinity, uh, one on a third and 17. And, and exactly to your point, it does uh, put the defenses a little bit in a bind of how do you handle Max and then uh, Antonio. Normally we have them on the opposite sides of the ball, so um, – as far as right and left is what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. And uh, that really stresses the defense. Yeah, no doubt about that. Well, one more question. I'm kind of filling in some things here that I've meant to ask about it. You know, the good thing about winding down the stretch of the season, we get to hit on some of those topics. Uh, you guys split time at a lot of positions, but one that you split time at that I don't think I've seen much is kicker. And you're getting uh, excellent seasons out of both Luke Volandingham and Seth Henson. How did that come about? And, you know, is it truly just a random thing? Is there, you know, you go first this week and you do next week. I haven't paid that close of attention. How does that work out week to week? Well, it started because uh, we couldn't figure out which one was better. And so we just thought my normal thing at any position, and I did that some at quarterback last year, but any position is um, when they're when they're close, just let them play it out mm-hmm. and just rotate them and. And that's kind of that's basically what it's been. They just rotate. Luke is is our punter, so we get a more punting out of him. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Seth doesn't punt, but that's really it. They just rotate during the game, um, and we haven't had any issues. We're 100 percent on our field goals. We've had a couple of uh, PATs. We had one last week against Fern Creek, but uh, most of those have been either the hold or the snap, and not necessarily kick. We might have one. That's a kick issue this year, but. It hasn't been many. 
Hey, we even go into kickers. We try to keep you prepared and keep you prepared for a good one coming up next. Mail and Bullet East here on Glycott. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. Jake from State Farm. I would like to formally extend my gratitude for the Russell rate on my insurance. Do you mean surprisingly great rates from State Farm? I don't believe in accepting help, but I'll make an exception. Here's the deal, Russell. There's no special rate. These prices are for everyone. Consider a square. I made that from memory. I know your face that well. For surprisingly great rates and great service, call State Farm agent Mike Shelton in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Glycon on YouTube is Kentuckiana's fastest growing high school sports video site. When you click to subscribe, don't forget to tap the bell and be notified of our upcoming live broadcasts and other unique video content. Subscribe for free now at youtube.com backslash Glycon. Hi, I'm Sarah Neely. I'm the financial manager at Mill Ridge Farm. Whenever you transition financial institutions, there's a tremendous amount of paperwork involved. Traditional Bank streamlined this paperwork and they just made it very simple. Traditional Bank is a locally owned bank that allows us to operate on an international platform. They make my life better, they make my job easier, and they make Mill Ridge a better place. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. When you're buying or selling a new home and you want to do it with few hassles, count on Polo Real Estate Group. Founded and owned by 1993 male high graduate Dion Reese, Polo Real Estate has over two decades of experience and offers skillful consultation and representation for your sale or purchase. If you're a new or experienced agent and you would like to join Polo Real Estate, contact them at 502-702-7656. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Mail and Bullet East almost ready to go. Before we kick it off, quick look at a couple of key players for the squads in tonight's game. Bullet East quarterback Jack Zwerneman, 20 touchdowns you mentioned earlier, Dion. Uh, talented quarterback can run it as well. Oh yeah, you know he's uh, uh, he's really really had a, a good start uh, this season. Uh, uh, you know he's been getting into the end zone, and uh, the Bulldogs going to have their hands full trying to trying to contain him tonight. Jacob Clancy and that fumble recovering defense, uh, they need big things out of them as well. Oh yeah, yeah. They said uh, uh, they're going to come out. They're going to be going after the ball. So uh, Mel needs to protect that ball tonight. And then for the Bulldogs, Coulter Smith, 21 touchdown passes, tops in 6A, just ahead of the 20 for Zorneman. And Coulter, senior night for him. You know he's pumped up. No doubt about it. He has He's had a solid senior season, and uh, I expect him to play well tonight. Max Ganey always ready with a big play, and we will be looking for one of those when we come back here on Glycod Bullet East and Mayo coming right up. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office location. I'm your overly competitive brother. Psych! And I'm about to steal this game from you, just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? No! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> and if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Contact Louisville and Lexington Allstate agent Thomas Allen for a quote today. From Glycod, it's IBEW Local 369 Louisville Football Friday. IBEW 369, power up your potential. 
Tonight's game is brought to you by Tinsley Family Concessions, commitment to quality, Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust, State Farm Insurance Agents Brian Morrison and Mike Shelton. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Blunt Dental Group, straightforward smiles. Allstate Insurance Agent Thomas Allen, he puts you in good hands. Thomas Car Wash and Holy Smokes Barbecue. Now to the field for all the action from Glycod on IBEW Local 369 Louisville Football Friday. Well, Mayo is ready to go. The only thing we're missing is Bullet East, who've taken their time over there. They're going to kick off to open the game. Antonio Harris, Max Ganey back to return. You see Mayo wearing the black tonight. And again, I think part of what could be a statement game for these Bulldogs. No doubt about it. There's some payback here, and it's senior night. So uh, uh, I expect an explosive game from the Bulldogs tonight. Bullet East going to kick it. You see they have the... White shirts, the red pants, gold helmets on both teams. So I hope nobody loses a helmet because if two guys lose a helmet, it may take a minute to figure <laughs> out whose is whose. The kicker strides off his steps. And we're ready to go. Let's settle a district title. Male Bulldogs, Bullet East Chargers. And we are underway. Low kick, a bouncer coming up across the 30, trying to shake outside. 35, and now back across field goes Max Ganey. He's got the corner. Can he take it? 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Max Ganey. <laughs> wow. Wow. Did I say statement game, wow. Deion Reese? Wow, that was huge. I mean, the Bulldogs are really smart. They had uh, Ganey playing up uh, short just in case they kick the ball short, and he does what Ganey does, gets to the end zone. 19 seconds in, Max Ganey starts his senior night celebration. Seth Henson on for the point after. 70 yards on the return. Not many like him. Great start for the Bulldogs. Henson to kick it. Davidson holds it. It's long enough and it's good. 7 nothing Bulldogs just underway. Stay tuned here on Glycod. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Seven nothing Bulldogs, just like that. Great point, Dion. The hiding Ganey in the in the short return men while Harris is back deep. I mean, if I'm Bullet East, I gotta find those guys always on a kickoff. Oh, no doubt about it. They need to do a better job of locating Ganey and uh, and Harrison uh, on the next kickoff. The landing ham will handle the kickoff for Mail. Swing him into motion. Here he comes. Kick is high but short. It's going to be returned from about the 10-yard line. Up across the 20, 25, down to about the 28 goes the return man. Not bad uh, field position starting for Bullities. Robertson on the tackle. And, yeah, they uh, did a pretty good job getting it down there. I believe Clancy on the return. Hard to pick up these numbers across field sometimes. Right. So Bullet East, again, it's going to be Jack Zwerneman, the man to watch at quarterback. Michael West is the running back as they open first and 10. 
Is Werneman going to fire it? And it's complete. Picking his way up to the 35. The target is Tyler Spaulding, who makes the play. Bullet East, you know, they've been throwing the ball really well all uh, season, and they start the uh, game with the throwing play uh, completion. Taylor with the tackle, but yeah, pickup of seven, second and three. And this was something Bullet East was great at a year ago. The short passing game, working precision. And somebody jumps across there for the Bulldogs, it appears. A little over eager off the edge. Yeah, it's senior night. Guys are excited, and uh, uh, but you got to watch that football. Yeah, the penalty is going to result in a substitution. Terrence Hall was out there, and he wanted to come crashing in, but did it a little early. First down for the Chargers at Bullet East. As you said, Dion, they're not seven and one by accident. They're not tops of the state in forcing fumbles by accident. Keegan Kendrick's team does good things. First down, looks to throw, pressure. Tournament avoids, fires downfield. He's got a man and it is caught. It's Spalding down there to about the 32 yard line. Big play for the Chargers. That was definitely a big time play. I mean, he got some pressure, stepped up in the pocket, delivered and uh, made a big play downfield. The first down, Bullet East right on as Werneman looks to throw. Pressure comes, now he scrambles off. Zwerneman keeps his eyes downfield, dumps it out of there incomplete. Nobody home. Smart play, fight another down. Very smart play. I think in the maturation of both quarterbacks, an early loss made a big difference. With Zwerneman, it was that second game against PRP with Coulter Smith. The loss to St. X really seems to have focused him in. So. Yeah, this is, this is football. You learn from adversity. No doubt about it. And neither one of these teams have lost since that first loss. So yeah. uh, they're both on pretty good winning streaks right now. Second and 10. Trips left for Zwerneman. Here he goes. Gives it off inside and not much there. I believe it's West on the carry. Yes. Short yardage, so third and long. Males kind of got them where they want them here. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bulldogs, uh, uh, good job stopping the run that play. Malone and Wilson in on the tackle. Those are two names we say a lot. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, those guys are going to be busy tonight. They're going to need to put some pressure on this quarterback. Third and eight. Zwerneman, quick hitter, outside, caught. Going to be near the sticks. We'll have to see where they mark it, but Trenton Baker with a nice play to pick up some yardage. I think you had mentioned earlier that they hadn't kicked any field goals this game. So uh, looks like they're going to be going for it here. Yeah, fourth and short, maybe two. Yeah. And let's see what the Chargers have. Mail struck on the opening kickoff. But a nice drive by Bullet East. But here's a big fourth down. Two receivers each way for Zwerneman West to set back beside him. And... We've got an issue there. I'm not a student of line play particularly, but when everybody comes flying out and the ball doesn't, that suggests some issues. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a miscommunication between uh, with the center. I think everybody moved but him. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, he's a necessary component. You can't go far without the ball. So. No doubt. That'll back up the Chargers five yards. I'd assume they, they keep the offense out here. Fourth and seven is harder than fourth and two, but yeah, no, no field goal kicking game for them and you know they you know they'd love to counter the early momentum with a, a kick return touchdown for Mayo. Oh no they're gonna need to. Trips right on fourth and seven. Jack Zwerneman sends West out. Empty backfield. They flip it down to West. He's got a long way to go and he's not getting there. And the Bulldogs stop him on downs. That's a great open field tackle by the Bulldogs. Nicely played on the corner by Mayo. Nasir Muhammad able to get up there and spill it out. Yeah, it's, he's, a, he's a senior. I saw him earlier uh, yep. coming out during senior night and a uh, great tackle by that young man. It is an excellent senior class for these Bulldogs. One that, uh, you know, it's, it's a lucrative uh, elite history here, eight state titles, but uh, one that I think stands up there with most. Oh, no doubt about it. I mean, the tradition is, uh, uh, you know, I'd say second to none. So first offensive series for Mayo. Two backs with Coulter Smith. He's got Colin Jefferson out wide. A pink on Jefferson tonight, breast cancer awareness. 
He's a tall, rangy kid. And a lot of pink. Smith to fire over the middle, incomplete. Through the hands of his target, Verbancic. It'll be second down. Yeah, just a little too high. Looks like Mel's going to be uh, looking to go to the air early this game. So Bullet East did a pretty good job. Swerneman, the quarterback, he's out there on defense as well. And he stuck his nose in there and helped create the incompletion. Yeah, he's a pretty tough kid. Uh, uh, seems to be pretty effective on both sides of the ball. Second down and 10 now. Smith up under center this time. Renter goes through. He hands the ball off inside. A nice power run up to about the 37-38 for Shemai Gates. Yeah, Shemai Gates doing what Shemai Gates does, running really, really hard and a great gain on that play. O'Brien on the stop for Bullet East, but from second and long, it's third and a very manageable distance there. Third and three. Bulldogs need to make it up to about the 41 to keep this drive going. Trips right this time for Coulter Smith. Back in his familiar shotgun set. Now Jefferson goes off and leaves him with an empty backfield. Smith looks that way, fires it to Jefferson. First down, he turns it up to about the 44. Colin Jefferson really coming of age. It helps to have Harris out there because now you got Harris and Gainey to distract him. And Jefferson, I think, is going to continue to see more passes as the season goes. No doubt about it because you got to pay uh, 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 um, and Gainey, and uh, that's going to leave some other guys some options out there. First down out to the 44. Two receivers right, and now Ganey actually goes across formation. Two backs in the backfield with Smith, kind of an unusual wrinkle. They go to Gates off the backside, and he picks his way short yardage across the 45. Yeah, there's a lot of different plays Mel Bull Dawson come at you with. You know, they're moving guys, uh, uh, you know, wide outs, running backs. I mean, they're really, really tough to stop on offense. Ray Hill with the tackle. Second and eight now for the Bulldogs. First offensive possession. The first seven points came courtesy of a 70-yard kick return from Max Ganey. We've got a Bullet East player who was headed off. He turns and changes directions going back on. Caden Bostick, the guy who we're following. Harris across formation. Now Smith, flags fly, whistles blow, timeout. The Bulldogs will take a break, and so will we. 7 nothing mail, 6.58 to go in quarter one here on Glycod. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. This segment of tonight's game is brought to you by Ruoff Mortgage. For an intuitive, simple, and stress-free mortgage process, visit Ruoff.com. Ruoff Mortgage. Opening doors. Seven nothing Bulldogs early. Offensively, a bit of a chess match so far, Dion. Both of these teams have moved the ball, had some success. You know, this is uh, an interesting early part of the game. They're trying to decide where the advantage lies and where to push it, but uh, trying some different things, and both had some success on their first possessions. They have. You know, neither offense has gotten to the end zone yet, but uh, I think both just trying to get a feel for, you know, what's going to uh, give them some success tonight. Second and eight now for the Bulldogs. Again, it's senior night. Senior Coulter Smith is under center. Turns and leaves it. A 
power run up to the midfield stripe for Shamai Gates, who has 11 rushing touchdowns this season. Oh, yeah, Gates and Burton, I mean, they're, they're a tough one-two punch. I mean, uh, um, again, just really, really hard runners, and uh, uh, those guys are going to run hard all night long. Yeah, neither one will pile up a ton of stats because – they both pile up some stats. So right. you add them together, you got about 800 yards and about 15 touchdowns. But uh, they they split the duties, they split the production. If they win enough games, I think they'll be fine with it. Oh, no doubt about it. Third and five for the Bulldogs. See what Bullet East dials up. Smith in the gun. They run it. Gates backside, and he's near the sticks as a late flag comes in. Let's see first where they mark it, and second, what the nature of the penalty is. I couldn't tell. It might have been a hit out of bounds. I'm not sure. The flag came out kind of late. It did. Yeah, all the way across from our vantage point. So two things to clarify here. Okay, personal foul on Bullet East. So that essentially makes the spot irrelevant. It's a first down either way. And one thing we didn't really talk about is penalties, but uh, it's a thin margin of error for the Chargers, and they don't do themselves any favors with that one. Oh, no doubt about it. It looked like they were a little over-aggressive and uh, uh, got a late hit out of bounds that last time. So the Bulldogs now down to the 34. Two receivers each direction. No three to the right for Coulter Smith in the empty backfield. Now not empty. Here's Gates beside him. The Coulter to throw anyway. Pocket breaks down. Flag comes in. The pass is going to be complete, but I assume this one is going to be wiped out. Grinter caught it, but we'll check the penalty, but that looks like a hold. Yeah, yeah, nice route by Grinter come, coming back and catching that ball, too. But uh, like you said, the penalty is going to negate that uh, great play by those guys. Well, and that's the other side of it. I mean, the Bulldogs have been having no trouble meeting the 10-yard goal, but now it's going to be first and long. So we'll see. Coach Wolf's got some big plays in the bag here. Yeah, both teams really need to settle down some, and uh, you don't want those penalties to add up because they could come back to bite you. They back it up all the way to the 44. So first and 20 for Mayo, leading 7-0. So we've crossed the midpoint of the opening quarter. Ganey's wide. Everybody else is bunched in tight. Redder goes across. They run it behind him, and a big hole for Gates. 20, 15. He's taken down. The Mayo's in the red zone and knocking on the door again. Man, he's coming through like a freight train. I mean, these guys run so hard, and they're tough to bring down. You almost forget how fast they are until they get in open field. That was a great run. Cowan on the tackle for Bullet East, but a gain of about 32 or 33 there for Shemai Gates. Maybe he heard me saying he doesn't get a lot of yards. He's going to do something <laughs> about it tonight. First down at the 11 for the Bulldogs, just outside of first and goal here. Smith in a pistol look, gives Gates left side. Shemai Gates fights his way down to around the five-yard line. Another great run. He's running the ball hard, and uh, uh, Coach Wolf read my mind. I'm thinking, give it to him again. <laughs> <laughs> Make him stop it. Ryan That's Rahill right. on the tackle. Actually, they put it at the six, so second and five at the six. And normally, Gates splits carries with Chase Burton. It is senior night, so maybe we, we see a few more go <laughs> Shemai's way. We'll see. Well, they're both on the field yeah, now, so let's see who they go with. I'm betting they go with the old Wildcat look here. And that's going to be it. Gates is the yep. Wildcat quarterback. Burton the setback beside him. I keep waiting for Gates to throw the ball out of this. We haven't seen it. But it's coming at some point. Timeout. Mayo's going to talk it over. Maybe they're going to draw that up. It's going to be 
A chance for the Bulldogs to discuss here on Glycod. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. This segment of tonight's game is brought to you by Ruoff Mortgage. For an intuitive, simple, and stress-free mortgage process, visit Ruoff.com. Ruoff Mortgage, opening doors. Mail up 7-0, knocking on the door for more. Second and five at the six-yard line. And looking really impressive running the ball this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this go-around. It looks like more coming. Wildcat still the formation. Gates, the quarterback, Burton, the running back to his left. Shemai Gates claps his hands. He's got it. He gives Burton. Burton cracks the seam and goes in. Standing up. Chase Burton. Six-yard touchdown run. I love that Wildcat offense. You know, they've got Gates back out there at the quarterback position. He hands it to Burton, and uh, he basically walks in for a touchdown. That's going to be tough to stop tonight. Yeah, we were talking during the break how the Wildcat just gives teams another wrinkle to prepare for, which is what you don't want when you're trying to play the most high-powered offense in 6A. No doubt about it. They really got their hands full this evening. Landingham will handle this extra point. Davidson still the holder. He's put it down. Kicks away, and it is good. 14-0 Bulldogs will be back here on Glycock. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Mail up 14-0, ready to kick it away. Seth Henson will do the honors this time. Henson's kick. A little deeper than the first one. It goes to about the three. Here's the return, and Clancy did not get far. He didn't. Now, well, maybe he reached the 20. If he did, he barely did. He uh, didn't get much there. That was a great open field tackle. You know, he got down there and wrapped him up and brought him right to the ground. Yep, Demarcus Robertson, another one of those seniors on the stop. Final home game. It goes by in a hurry when you're playing, doesn't it, oh, Dion? Yes, it does. It zips by. This is a really, really big night for these young men, and uh, uh, hopefully they leave it all out there on the field. I was telling my son it won't be their, their last real home game. They'll have some in the postseason, but uh, it's still a special thing. Empty set for Zwerneman. Little end around, razzle dazzles. Zwerneman's got it back. He's in trouble. He gets away. He flips it out to West. But West has got nowhere to go, and all that running ends up on a short loss. Yeah, I mean, a, a pretty nifty play, but it looked like there were 22 Bulldogs on the field at <laughs> once there. <laughs> DeAndre Malone, the man with the tackle, but, uh, yeah, that that's an end-around flea flicker and then kind of a back-end screen, screen out yeah. of it. Yeah, but it's a loss of a yard, so second and 11. Zwerneman, he's got trips left this time. That's the open side, of course. And they run Zwerneman straight ahead. Not much there. Pretty short yardage, and it's going to be third down and long again. Yeah, I would, I would take it they're going to put the ball in the air when it's third and long. Daniel Bird on the stop, another senior. Third and long, Zwerneman to throw. Fires downfield. He's got a man at the sticks. 
And it's a first down. I think it's Spalding who sneaks under there. A nice play. Knew exactly where the sticks were. Cut his route off. Caught the ball. First down. Definitely solid passing game by the uh, by Bullet East. You know, we questioned, uh, you know, some of the competition that we're playing. This, this offense is real. First down for the Chargers. Warneman's bad snap, and he falls on it. Smart play just jumping on that. And the last thing you want to do is turn the ball over on your own into the field. And, yeah, sometimes discretion, the better part of valor, fall on it rather than try to pick it up and do something crazy. No doubt about it. Smart by the quarterback. Second down and long now. Bullet East will string together a couple of good plays, but then whether a penalty or a drop snap, having trouble with continuity. Empty set for Zorneman. He's looking right. He fires that way. He had a man, but he overshot him. Incomplete. Spalding was open. There was something there. He, he kind of snuck in between layers of the Bulldog defense, but Credit Mail's pressure up front. That's exactly what I was going to say. He had two Bulldogs running right at him full speed. That definitely affected uh, uh, his pass that time. A third down at about 15 here. And this Mail defense has been up for the challenge thus far. This is where they're dangerous because they can pin their ears back. Trips left for Zwarneman. Here comes some heat. He ducks under it. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he gets slung down at the 31-yard line. They want a horse collar, but that's not a horse collar. No, he grabbed him by the collar. shoulder, that's right. not by the back of the jersey. So a smart play by Kevin Wilson who closed that down. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where you, you see what you want to see, but, yeah, it wasn't. No, it no, wasn't, wasn't a dirty play. Color. It's totally a clean look. Grabbed him by the shoulder and slung him down. Fourth down. Looks like Bullet East is going to punt this, I, I believe. Yes, yeah, Zorneman is the punter, which is an advantage for them. It gives him another look. The fake is always in play oh, when your yeah. quarterback and your oh, punter yeah. are the same guy. So, a fourth and 11. Max Ganey is back at the 43 to return it. He's got a kick return. He'd love a punt return, too. Zwerneman goes rugby style and does kick it out of there, and it's a line drive into his own bench. He stays away from the Bulldogs. We'll just stay here with the change of possession. Mayo going to get pretty good field position up two touchdowns. Yeah, he stayed away from Max Ganey specifically, so uh, I think that was a smart play. <laughs> Lesson learned. Right. Yeah, considering that Ganey was setting up on the left hash and that kick went out of bounds on the right sideline, uh, only if he kicked it into the parking lot could he have gotten farther away from him. The Bulldogs will take over about the 43-yard line. Bulldogs did a really good job running the ball last drive. It'll be interesting to see uh, uh, what they choose to uh, pull out this, uh, this drive. Yeah, last week was the passing game. Maybe it's the ground game this week. We'll have to see. Smith's got everybody bunched pretty tight. Grenner goes across formation, and they run it on the backside. A little bit of a seam there. Pickup of four or five yards. Burton on the carry. Solid run by Burton. Cornell on the tackle there for Bullet East. Second down and call it a long six. So far, no sign of the turnovers that Bullet East has forced so well this season. And they could use probably a couple. Yeah, I think Mel is aware of it, and they're taking care of the ball and making sure they're wrapping it up tonight. Second down for the dogs. They play fake. No, they did hand it off. They faked me out that time, but only short yardage that time. Ganey ended up with it and wasn't much room to run there. Yeah, he was dancing around looking for a seam, but just couldn't quite find one. Call that one a yard pickup. A third down and medium here for the Bulldogs. That may, be, may have been the second time the ball's been in his hand since that kickoff return. I'm not sure if he's, he's touched it since then. Yeah, that's true. The, the run-heavy effort does 
take him out of it, although I think that's 14 rushes for him this year. So they, they do like to hand it to him a time or two a game, keep the defense honest. Just another weapon. Third down for Smith. Looks to throw. He's got time. He fires. Caught by Grinter. It's going to be a first down. They'll mark him at about the 45. He needed five. He got about seven. Nice route. Nice catch by Grinter. You know, he's a baseball star here and decided to come out and play football his senior year. So, uh, uh, Wolf is uh, happy to have him out here. Yeah, always Always room for another weapon, and that ends the quarter. 14-0 Bulldogs. We'll be right back here on Glycod. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path, rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something at school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Fourteen nothing Bulldogs, but then again, seven of those points, a special team score. It's really been a pretty competitive game. The difference is Bullet East has made the mistake that's kind of taken them off schedule, and they haven't been able to get back on. Yeah, I would agree. This game is uh, uh, actually a lot closer than the fourteen and zero that you see there. So, first down for the Bulldogs. Smith under center. Gives Burton trying to wiggle free. He's got some room. He's down to about the 31-yard line. First down, Chase Burton. Boy, he's uh, he's a handful out there. Oh, man, he's strong. He's fast. He's smart. I mean, uh, uh, you know, him, uh, you get him and Gates together, man. They're just a, a really, really tough one-two combo. O'Brien on the tackle for the Chargers. Well, first down. And the other side of what we just said, that it's been pretty competitive. Mail puts this in the end zone. The heat really goes on Bullet East. They, they will be in a place they do not want to be down three scores if that comes to pass. Yeah, yeah, they definitely don't want to be there, especially with this uh, Bulldog uh, offense. First down, 33-yard line for the Bulldogs. Colter Smith play fake. He's going to throw. He's got time. Now he pulls it down. Now he runs. And his flags come flying in. He gained a few yards, but uh, I always feel like this is probably going to result in a holding penalty. Got to take your hat off to the uh, Bullet East secondary. You know, he had plenty of time back there. Just couldn't find an open yeah. wide out. Yeah, it's a hold. That will back him up. Cornell had the tackle, but that short gain will be wiped off. Coulter, not much of a runner. That's not really his comfort zone, but to give him credit, he, he looked like it was. You wouldn't have known that he's pretty much an air-based quarterback. He was willing to get outside and lower the shoulder, pick up a few yards. Just yeah. He got a, a little extra help there. <laughs> he's a smart kid. You got to watch him running the ball as well, though. You do. First down at 21 after the holding penalty. Renter across formation. Burton behind him, and he's met in the middle. Nothing doing that time. Bullet East had that one covered. Hair on the stop for Bullet East, and it's going to be second and long. Nice hit by Hare, too. I mean, he stopped them solid. He's limping off the field. That would be a loss for Bullet East. He's one of the few guys up front who can kind of match male in intensity, if not size. You know, a year ago, it was not a very thick Bullet East team, but they made up for it just with execution. They look good tonight, to be honest. I know they're down 14-0, but they, you know, they look decent. 
Second down and long. Smith's got two receivers right this time. Drops. Quick throw. That's Ganey. Can he shake free? Makes one man miss. Going all the way across field. We've seen this before. 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. He did it again. <laughs> Max Ganey, Ganey, second time around. Touchdown. How many times have we heard that? Max Ganey makes the guy miss. Before you know it, Max Ganey, touchdown. Great play by that young man. He's having a great game tonight. I think he's touched the ball three times. He's got two touchdowns. <laughs> You'll take that ratio as right. a coach, yeah. So 20 to nothing now the edge. Extra point pending. 43 yards, and Ganey had all 43 of them. <laughs> Just a short pass that he made his magic on. So dangerous in the open field. The officials having some late discussion. I didn't see a flag, but uh, maybe some extracurricular issues after the play. Let's see. And the official walks over to Coach Wolf. And, uh, that was a quick conversation, whatever it was. <laughs> I saw a couple of gestures. Okay, here we go. Now we get a call. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Mayo. After the touchdown. So Henson will kick the extra point. Snaps down, kicks away. It's long enough. Nobody's going to signal. So it is good. We finally have a decision. 21 nothing Mayo will take the break here on Glycod. For your surprisingly great rates, Contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Brian Morrison in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Twenty-one nothing, mail. That was the. Have your own moment to officiate moment there. I don't know if it uh, came through, but the officials down in the end, the extra point was kicked, and they kind of took a break and chatted amongst themselves and walked around a minute and then realized, hey, we didn't call anything. So they threw their arms up, but uh, the point counts just the same, and Mayo will kick off with a 21-point edge. Bulldog fans getting a little rowdy kick is high but short. After the penalty, good field position across the 30, 35, turning out across the 40 to the 41 goes Jacob Clancy. So, yeah, I forgot about the 15 yards on the penalty. That That's uh, right. definitely That's makes a life. difference there. Terrence Hall on the tackle for the Bulldogs. They've got some great field position to start this drive. They need to put something together. This is, uh, this is starting to get out of hand. Yeah. They are more, by nature, a patient offense than a quick strike offense, and they're almost going to have to abandon that if they can't get something going here. Zwerneman is the quarterback. Trips left. Yeah, it looks like they're going to bring some heat up front. Jorneman keeps it, and he puts his head down and gains his way out near the 45-yard line. It was a good physical run by Jack Zorneman there. It was. It was, but the Bulldogs were there, and uh, uh, not a bad game. But they're going to need a little more than that if they're going to get in this end zone. Yeah. 
And second down. That guy is losing a shoe out there for Mullities, Landon Alvey. You don't want that. No, no, you need you're gonna need two <laughs> cleats on if you want to be effective out here tonight. Second and seven for the Chargers. Down three scores. West goes in motion left. Zorneman looks that way. Rush comes. Ducks under it, but he can't get away. Sacked by the Bulldogs. Too much pressure by the Bulldogs that time. They, they're giving him too much trouble. Just couldn't, couldn't have any time to try to find a receiver downfield. Bryce Strickland. He had a big game last week. He's really coming into his own. He gets the sack there and puts Mullities back off schedule. Bryce only listed at six feet tall, and honestly, looking at him, he may be a little shorter than that, but he is playing some excellent football. Finds a way to get in. Third and long. Jornaman takes a look over the middle. He's got a man. He's got a catch. He's got a first down. Boy, all the big passes tonight are going to Tyler Spaulding, and that one no exception. Excellent grab. Oh, definitely found an open spot, and, uh, uh, you know, the Bullities quarterback really looks good when you give him some time. First down out to the 43. Well, the Chargers, they've been a little deeper than this in male territory, but nothing to show for it as yet. Cripps left for Zorneman. Bad snap. Zorneman's got it, and he's going to get sacked. Just wasn't much he could do with that, and... Mayo quite ready to come in. Solomon Conley. You never get an easier one than that. All he had to do was finish it off. Yeah, you know, they're looking good in spurts. They just can't put together any consistency on offense. Timeout bull at East. We'll take the break as well. 21-0 Bulldogs here on Glycod. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Research has shown high school sports to be a great community influence. Join scores of local businesses that have partnered with Glycod in sponsoring live, hometown-oriented sports programming on our video and social media platforms. For more information, email info at glycod.com. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycod. Twenty-one nothing edge for the Bulldogs. And Bullet East now back in second and long. After another bad snap, Just unforced errors really putting the Chargers in a hole. Zwerneman, he keeps it and he's not getting anything. He lost a couple, if anything. Yeah, they're, they're having a tough time trying to move the ball on the ground. Javion Dorsey able to shut that one down. And now third down and about a mile for Bullet East. Is Werneman having a, a nice effort, Dion, in terms of being able to make some throws downfield, escape the pocket a few times, but he's not getting a lot of help right now. Yeah, he looks great when he's got some time. It's just, uh, uh, you know, when the Bulldogs are applying that pressure, it's just, you know, tough for him to have any success. Third down and 21. Zwerneman looking, flushed, rolling, throwing late, and if it's caught, it's still 10 yards short, and it's incomplete anyway. Yeah, they're trying. He had a little bit of time, and, uh, you know, he found a guy, but there was some good coverage uh, by the male Bulldogs that time. Fourth and long punting situation. See if they've come up with a better way to deal with the Bulldogs. This looks like, no, okay. It, again, Zwerneman is a quarterback and punter for a half second there. I thought, are they going to go? But no, they're, they're in punt formation. See what he does. Dorsey back in late. Snap it through to him. Rugby-style punt. 
Hits this one pretty well. Bounces inside the 30, inside the 20. Boy, Ganey wanted to get it, but he <laughs> lets it go, and it's going to trickle down about the eight-yard line. So nice punt by Zwerneman as well. It was. Ganey thought about it, but he was smart and just got away from that ball. Yeah. No reason to take that chance. And you could see he, he's bouncing around. He wants to go over and grab it, but, yeah, that, that, that'll that get you chewed out real quick. Oh, no doubt. And that's why people like the rugby kick. You can kick it on the ground and, and make people make that tough decision, and if they can't field it, you can get another 10 or 20 yards like they did right there. Bulldogs backed up to their own eight. Hasn't mattered much so far tonight. Smith under center. Run backside with Burton. He shakes free for a few. Makes, looks like about the 11-yard line before he's shoved out by Ryan Rayhill. Nice stiff arm on the run that time. Second down is seven now. They were running that play pretty much the whole fourth quarter last week. It was a running clock situation, and they put uh, churn in there, and I think I saw that same play about okay. eight times in a row. Shotgun formation now for Coulter Smith. Drops to throw. Got time. Fires it. Complete to Harris. Harris out over the 30, down to about the 33. Nice route. Nice, nice pitch. Nice catch. Yeah, one, one more man to beat, and he's still running, but Bryce Elder able to come up and make the tackle. About a 24-yard pickup there for the Bulldogs. Pistol look here for Coulter Smith. And I think some miscommunication, and now Smith rolls, throws, and there's nobody out there. That one was just kind of doomed from the start. Yeah, yeah, looked like he uh, faked the ball to the air to no one, <laughs> and uh, he was smart, just thrown out of bounds. And Yeah. Miscommunication with Gates there. Some sort. Yeah. But so far, that's been the difference in this game. When Mayo hasn't had something or has had a play that hasn't worked, you, you Take no gain or you lose a yard, you come back and you run the next one. Bullet East, you know, it's it's seven yards back here or a penalty there. And the Bulldogs have done a good job being disciplined so far. Second down. Hand it back side to Gates. And he's going to be, well, now he's going to shake free. Out to the 40, 45, 50, 45, down to the 44. Just as I say, he's going to be dropped for a loss. He says, no, actually, I think I'll turn up field and pick up about 20 yards. Right. Dropping him from a loss, for a loss is obviously easier said than done. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Rayhill finished him off at Shemai Gates. What a nice run. Such a tough running back. I mean, he's hard to get on the ground. I mean, he broke two, three tackles that play. Yeah. First down, Bulldogs at the Charger 44. Already up 21-0. Shemai Gates looked hungry for more. Let's see if they go back to him. Yes, they do. Short yardage this time. Hey, everyone can't be a home run. That's how you do right. it. Right. Pick Still a, a short couple. game. Yeah. Right. I think the Bulldogs have really looked good tonight running the ball. Yeah, didn't see a lot of it last week against Fern Creek, so I think there's an element of making sure everything's ready as we wind down the season this week and then next, and then the playoffs are upon us. Yes, they are. Up 21-0, great time to be running the ball as well. Absolutely. Smith under center. Play fake. He throws. Caught. 35, 30, Fuller, 25, and he stepped out of bounds. But Josh Fuller with a nice grab and down to the 24-yard line. Sure was a nice grab. They've got so many weapons on this Mill High School offense. Clancy on the tackle for Bullet East, but, yeah, that's it. I, I mean, I don't have the, the passing stats, but I'd be interested to see how many different receivers 
have had a catch so far. Ganey, Harris, Jefferson, Grinter. Threw one at Verbancic. And that one to Fuller. And I'm probably forgetting somebody. First down on the edge of the red zone. Gates just squares up, turns, and breaks it down near the 10-yard line. Shemai Gates. Yeah, he was a shoestring away from a touchdown that time. He's really running that ball hard tonight. Tyler Spaulding on the tackle. Give credit to those big maulers up front, too. They oh, yeah. are setting the tone. No doubt about it, giving them a little bit of space to work with. First down at the 11. This one started at Males 8. They have moved it to the Bullet East 11, a first down there. Smith's got Gates beside him in the gun. Smith looks to throw. Fires in the end zone. Did he catch it? Yes, he did. I don't know how Max Ganey caught it, but he caught it. Touchdown. Is he four touches, three touchdowns? <laughs> <laughs> that might have been the craziest one yet, and that's wow. saying something. Wow. He's not that big, Dion. He made that catch like a guy who's 6'4". Like I got to have it, and Colt threw a rocket that time, too. 92-yard scoring drive. I think we can say it's all going the Bulldogs' way. Yeah, officially. Everything's going the Bulldogs' way. The landing ham for the point. It's high, it's long, and we've got a signal this time. It's good. 28-0 mail. We'll take the break here on Glyca. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Research has shown high school sports to be a great community influence. Join scores of local businesses that have partnered with Glycod in sponsoring live, hometown-oriented sports programming on our video and social media platforms. For more information, email info at glycod.com. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycod. Mayo's kickoff being returned here. Out across the 20, upended just around the 30-yard line. Jacob Clancy had a nice head of steam, brings it out, and boy, if you're Bullet East, this was not what you were looking for. No, down 28-0, uh, got themselves in a hole, and uh, uh, male high school offense uh, and defense playing really well right now. Max Ganey's on fire. Yeah, Ma Max Ganey, th this is... Uh, we were talking before the game, talking about possible Mr. Football honors. And the knock on Max Ganey, if there was one, he hadn't maybe had that game where you could just circle it and say, yeah, that's a Mr. Football game. Maybe he's doing that tonight. He's definitely making a case this evening. First down, Chargers out at their own 33. After a nice return by Clancy. Zorneman's got trips to his left. Hands west, and just not much going there. That male front collapsed on it in a hurry. Short gain, if any. Yeah, that's one of the areas that the uh, Bullities hadn't had much success tonight, and that's the uh, running game. Uh, Bulldogs uh, up front have done a great job stopping that up. DeAndre Malone on the tackle. Second and long. Call at nine. Interested to see if this play is not particularly successful, how aggressive Coach Wolf gets. Looking for another score here, potentially. Trips right. Zwarneman keeps himself, and it's not real successful. It went back to about the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that's about it again. Not much success running the ball at all this tonight. So third down and long. Third down. 
Males front has done a good job. Rogers on the tackle there for the Bulldogs. They're down at about nine. Trips right for Zwerneman. Big rush. They set up a screen to Spalding. He's got it, but he's going to be tackled right about where the play originated. Nothing that was there. well designed. It, it was just... well designed, yeah. Again, you know, that looks like, again, there's, looks like there's 22 Bulldogs on the field. They're yeah. everywhere. Yeah. They're everywhere. Pressure, covering, wide outs. They're everywhere tonight. Fourth down, no timeouts called by Coach Wolf. Maybe the Bullet East is going to let it go down. That's that's what it looks like they're doing here. Everybody's just looking at the sideline. And we're looking with them. Try to take as much time off that clock as possible so they right. don't uh, give the Bulldogs a chance to get in the end zone again. Yeah. Smart play by the Chargers. And there is the whistle. We'll have a timeout, Bullet East. Mail looking for another one before the half. Stay tuned here on Glycod. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Research has shown high school sports to be a great community influence. Join scores of local businesses that have partnered with Glycod in sponsoring live, hometown-oriented sports programming on our video and social media platforms. For more information, email info at glycod.com. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday. Fourth down, punting situation for the Chargers of Bullet East. The final minute before halftime. Males in punt safe. Nobody is back. Well, they must see something here they don't trust. As Werneman's going to kick it, and he does. And he'll get all the roll that he can out of it, and it's going to be a beauty. By the time all is said and done, it's going to roll to about the 18-yard line, and it's down there. Now, this is a small thing that I noticed, Dion. Play like that, why does he not back off and just let every second run off the clock that he could? You get your... Your momentum and your mojo going, and you'd want to go down and touch that ball down. Right. If it sits there for two or three seconds, you're, you're that much happier. No it doubt about it. never happens. Nobody ever does it. No doubt about it. I, I think they just didn't talk about it. Yeah. You know, he just sees it, stops, so, you know, yeah. they're just used to just touching it. So one final possession. We'll see how aggressive Chris Wolf wants to play it. My guess is pretty aggressive. <laughs> No whistles blow, and we're going to have a timeout bullet east. The Chargers will take another break, but we'll keep it here. You know, so many weapons for this male team, and even with 45 seconds, you know, this deep in your own end, maybe you go halfway conservative with the first play. Maybe you start with a run and see if you can spring it. And if you spring it, then you can go more aggressive. That, but I don't that's know. the way I would lean. I mean, yeah. again, this, this deep in your own territory. Yeah, well. Up 28-0. You know. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is, is anything to hurt what's been a pretty darn near perfect half of football. No doubt. So, yeah, take what they give you. If you can get 8 or 10 or 12 or 15 yards, then there's still time. Get up there. Spike the ball if you need to. You've got uh, the kind of personnel where you can put something together on a moment's notice. So, Yeah, no reason to be overly aggressive here. You know, they've played a really solid game. Two touchdowns first quarter, two touchdowns second quarter. You know, held Bullity scoreless. Yeah. Well, I, you know, statement game, I, I've said a couple times, maybe I'm even – uh, just overusing it. But a year ago, Bullet East won this game in the regular season. It was kind of a surprise. And they came back and played in the, the state title. Uh, and this is not a bad Bullet East team. The score, people will see this score and say, ah, you know, Bullet East wasn't that good. I, don't, I think Bullet East has got some juice uh, for the postseason uh, remaining very much. But Mayo has just been a buzzsaw tonight. I agree. Trips right. 
for Coulter Smith, who looks that way. Little backside throw, and it's caught out across the 20, out across the 30, and Chase Burton steps out of bounds at the 32. So there you go. I like you the got call. a first down. It was a pretty safe, easy play. He's out of bounds. You got 37 seconds, and now you can dig in a little deeper. Okay, let's let's see what else we can come up with if you're the Bulldogs. I like it. A nice start to the drive. So a first down. Smith's got everybody bunched in except one receiver wide, which I believe is Ganey. Smith looks that way, caught out to about the 45-yard line. It is Ganey. And he does exactly what he's supposed to do there, make the catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock again. First down, 45-yard line, still 32 seconds. Looks like they've got some extra help over there trying to cover Ganey as well, which is smart. <laughs> So now Ganey goes to the right, and Colin Jefferson, the wide target to the right. Harris on this short side of the field, the left. Pistol look for Coulter Smith. Play fake, and he throws. Harris's way, caught up at the 40-yard line. And now we've gotten kind of a tutorial on the run game. We're getting it in the pass game right here. I was just about to say the same thing. This looks like a 45-second uh, clinic, you know, um, yeah, 27 seconds left, and they're down to the Bullet East 40-yard line. Wow. Wow, this is a clinic. I mean, you know, throwing the ball toward the sideline. You know, they're getting out of bounds. This is uh, uh, some really smart offense uh, uh, by the Bulldogs. First down at the 40, Coulter Smith. They run it this time with Burton backside, and he goes out of bounds. Nothing there, but, you know, he goes out of bounds, and you only lost about four seconds there. That's right. Haven't seen a lot of long-range field goals for Mayo, but uh, both of the kickers, Landingham and Henson, I think they'd be comfortable with them from 40 or so. Um, I would say so. They're definitely knocking on the door for field goal range. Yeah. Second and nine at the 39. Trips right. Ganey in the slot. Smith setting up a screen. Burton's got it. 35. The 30, and he's got a first down. He stayed in bounds. And now they're going to stop the clock because it is a first down. 13 seconds. Let's see if they spike it, if they call timeout. Well. Is a Bulldog timeout? Yeah, it looks it's like. going to yeah. be a timeout for Mayo. That's going to be, I believe, their final one. 13 seconds and a half. We'll be right back here on Glycock. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Research has shown high school sports to be a great community influence. Join scores of local businesses that have partnered with Glycod in sponsoring live, hometown-oriented sports programming on our video and social media platforms. For more information, email info at glycod.com. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycod. So the Bulldogs up 28-0, and they really are in field goal range now. They still got a chance to take another shot or two downfield. Let's see how they play it, if they look for three or six here. First down at the 27. Yeah, that would still be about a 43, 44-yard kick. I think they would want to get closer. Empty set. Coulter Smith trips right. Smith has got all kinds of time. And now he's going to run. He's going to get the first down. He might go all the way. Coulter Smith. And he's going to be taken down inside the 10. And there's two seconds on the clock. He's inside the five, but the clock is going to start again, and I don't think there's time to kill it. Well. Nope. And let's see. That looks like they ran out of time. 
Yeah, yeah into the half. And that's going to be the ruling. Well, it was a good drive. It just came up slightly shy. Now Coulter Smith is limping as we end the half. That's about the only thing that has gone against the male Bulldogs. They're up 28-0 at intermission over Bullet East. We'll recap it, catch you up on scores and more here on Glycon. Go ahead, pour it on as thick as you want to. Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering. Serving up the tastiest ribs, chicken, brisket, brown sugar sticky wings, mutton and ham. Always served to you fresh and so good, it'll make you say, Holy Smokes! Holy Smokes Barbecue and Catering, 7508 Preston Highway. Holy Smokes! Family owned and operated since 1946, Thomas Car Wash has specialized in making Louisville cars look fresh and clean. Co-owned by 2006 Mill graduate Alex Thomas, Thomas Car Wash has four convenient locations, including their newly renovated one at 5321 Preston Highway, just a mile down from Mail. Additional locations include 6511 Preston Highway, 4139 Bardstown Road, and one at the intersection of Hurstbourne Parkway and Taylorsville Road. From full service to express water, washes to detailing and towel drying wash local with thomas car wash when you're buying or selling a new home and you want to do it with few hassles count on polo real estate group founded and owned by 1993 male high graduate dion reese polo real estate has over two decades of experience and offers skillful consultation and representation for your sale or purchase if you're a new or experienced agent and you would like to join polo real estate contact them at 502-702-7656 polo real estate group a realtor you can trust Not just blind. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four year course debt free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path, rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. Tonight's Halftime Report is brought to you by Tinsley Family Concessions, a tradition of corporate excellence and community service. For more, visit tfcfamily.com. 28-0 right. <laughs> at intermission and everything sharp tonight at Mail, including the halftime performance to Michael Jackson's Thriller. Uh, which, as you noted, Dion is probably even more impressive since none of those kids were alive when that right. song came out. Uh, but With anyway. Great job. Yeah, great job nonetheless. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for the Bulldogs, really, other than that last play coming up a couple yards shy of the end zone, pretty much everything else went right. 
It went right from the opening kickoff when Max Ganey took it back 70 yards. Touchdown, Henson, extra point. Made it 7-0 Bulldogs. 11.41 to go in the opening quarter. They really never looked back. Six-yard touchdown run for Chase Burton. The Landingham's extra point good. That made it 14-0 for 16 to go in the first. And then Ganey turned a little more magic, took a short pass from Coulter Smith, went all the way across field, took it 43 yards for a touchdown, hence an extra point, 9.50 to go in the second quarter, 21-0. And then possibly the most impressive of all of them, he didn't get to weave around in the open field. He just went up over the top of a defender and brought in an 11-yard touchdown, he being Max Gaining, his third of the night, Coulter Smith from 11 yards out. The Landingham extra point makes it 28-0. 3.05 to go in the half, and that, after the clock ran out on that last-second spike attempt, maybe, is where we come to intermission. But, you know, for Mayo, excellent offensive execution, a good job by the defense shutting down, as you note, a, a pretty darn talented uh, Bullet East team that's, that's got some weapons and got some guys who are pretty formidable out there, but Mayo's just turned them away tonight. I mean, they're averaging 35 points a game. Uh, bullet East is, you know what I mean? And they're, you know, they're at zero at halftime. So, uh, uh, you know, the uh, Bulldogs have done a great job on both sides of the ball. And, uh, uh, you know, Max ganey has been almost flawless. It's almost like every time he touches the ball, you know, he's in the end zone. So, uh, yeah. great, great start by the Bulldogs. Yeah, it's been one of those, what can he do next nights? And, you know, don't take that as a challenge, Max. Uh, leave a little bit in the bag <laughs> for the postseason coming up soon. And right now we're going to step aside, have some words from our sponsors. We'll come back, review scores a little bit, and actually talk a little bit about that postseason, the picture a little more clear after the first half of this one. You're listening and watching Glycod. Stay tuned with us for the second half to come. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal call state farm agent mike shelton in louisville today like a good neighbor state farm is there new recruit take advantage of our apprenticeship program come out of our four-year course debt-free with health insurance a guaranteed pension a degree and an electrical license Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path, rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. It's about the best I can, I can put it. Uh, the cost of school is free, actually. Uh, all your books are paid for. You go to school once every two, every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. So you're getting paid to do your job. You can start off with absolutely no knowledge, and they're going to give you the tools and the foundation to build up from there. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable, and they care about actually making sure you understand the information that they're presenting to you. So I know that when I go to motor control, Wayne is going to, he's passionate about motor control, and he wants you to get it. But it's really not like school. It's they're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. So you're able to implement what you're learning almost on the fly. And sometimes you're learning more things in the field. By the time you get into the classroom, it's like, oh, I already know this. They break the class down into smaller groups on your class day. If you need help, you can easily look at whoever's sitting next to you and ask them for help. You know, everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This is, a, this is an organization of brothers and sisters all working together to accomplish a common goal. We work together in the field and then we become friends on the outside and it's, it's almost like a family organization at that point. 
Nobody I've ever worked with has uh, referred to this job as a job. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. So coming out of the apprenticeship program, you can go into a variety of directions with your work. You can become a foreman, you can do motor controls at a manufacturing facility, you can specialize in fire alarm. This field is so vast, you can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do with it. So if you're the kind of person that likes to think things through or see how things work on the inside, someone that's uh, detail-oriented, motivated. I've always seen myself as a hands-on person. Being in an apprenticeship, I'm getting my associate's degree, doing electrical, and being able to do something hands-on. If you like to build things, this, this is the place. Uh, it requires you to grow up. Be accountable for yourself because, yeah, they're going to lay out tools to help you be successful, but it's up to you to you know, grab those tools and, and build yourself. Power up your potential with the IBEW. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Twenty-eight nothing Mayo as the marching band completes another impressive part of this night. A, a nice halftime show for them. Senior night for them as well. Uh, scores. Every game can't be uh, quite this compelling, or maybe this one-sided. Although there you see St. X, a healthy edge on PRP. Manual in Mead County. Mead County uh, lost their quarterback for the season. I was there when that happened. Uh, so they're uh, kind of shorthanded, but uh, giving Manual a fight early. Central always tough. Always run the football well. And uh, Cal out on E-Town. Cal's going to be out on a lot of people, Cal. Definitely a team to watch. And in Fairdale and Atherton, scoreless, drove past Atherton, went right past there, heading in here. So um, that's the, the overall look. We're going to take another break. When we come back, we'll try to dip into the postseason picture a little bit, let you know what that looks like for these Bulldogs and these Chargers. Second half coming just around the bend here on Glycod. Family owned and operated since 1946, Thomas Car Wash has specialized in making Louisville cars look fresh and clean. Co-owned by 2006 Mill graduate Alex Thomas, Thomas Car Wash has four convenient locations, including their newly renovated one at 5321 Preston Highway, just a mile down from Mail. Additional locations include 6511 Preston Highway, 4139 Bardstown Road, and one at the intersection of Hurstbourne Parkway and Taylorsville Road. From full service to express washes to detailing and towel drying wash local with thomas car wash last season glycod streamed over 160 games as our presence grows throughout kentucky and southern indiana we have a need for production sales and social media support if you've ever wanted to pursue a career in the fast-paced world of broadcasting but didn't know how these opportunities could be for you for more information please contact info at glycod.com UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. I'm your overly competitive brother. Psych! And I'm about to steal this game from you. Just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? No! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> and if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Contact Louisville and Lexington Allstate agent Thomas Allen for a quote today. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. So Mail out 28-0 over Bullet East, and this is the district title. Fern Creek and Southern, the other teams in the district, but this Mail Bullet East matchup decides it. And, of course, you know, 
The Bulldogs can't afford to look ahead, but 28 nothing. it looks like it's probably going to go their way. So, whoever wins this game, nudge, nudge, will clinch first in the division and will get to host playoff games on November 3rd and November 10th. That's the first two weeks of the postseason. After that, of course, it goes to RPI. Mail comes in tonight, number two in 6A in RPI, and Bullet East, number three. But as far as who they're going to play, 6A4, which is their district, is paired with 6A6. So the winner of this game will play the loser of Great Crossing at Campbell County. And it will be played here. Okay. The team that loses this game will play the winner of Great Crossing in Campbell County. So that's the immediate implications of this one. And, of course, you know, Fern Creek and Southern are, are going to be three and four. They're playing tonight, and that will determine, you know, who gets uh, which team from Simon Kenton and Ryle. So that's how it all plays out. Bullet East is going to Meade County next week. And, of course, Manuel plays Mayo, the 141st matchup of the old rivalry. What was your senior night like, Dion? I always have to, to – Pick on you guys who used to play here and get your memories. Uh, what what do you remember? You know, first of all, it seemed like yesterday. You know, it was 1993, yeah. but it seemed like yesterday. And uh, um, I can just remember being on the field and just trying to take it all in, you know, out on the field, looking up in the stands, you know, seeing my parents, uh, just knowing that, uh, um, you know, that, that I wasn't going to be here anymore. You, yeah. know? Um, you know, obviously we had some more games left as well, but uh, uh, always a surreal experience. And uh, um, I don't know, it just, um, you know, I love wearing the purple and gold, so it was just a big, big night for me. Yeah, absolutely. One you remember, I'm sure, one that sticks with you. And, oh, no and doubt. The way Mayo's playing, one they'll enjoy remembering, I suspect. As, as far as halftime numbers, Jason Frakes seated down from us here. He's shared some numbers and I'll pass those along the Bulldogs 17 first downs and 301 total yards in that first half how's this for balance 161 through the air 140 on the ground can't beat that I mean the Bulldogs have you know played almost a flawless game I mean offense looks good defense looks good dance team looks good the band <laughs> looks great you know what I mean the weather's perfect yeah, you know yeah. just a really really good night for the male Bulldogs Coulter Smith 10 for 1261 yards two scores Shemai Gates 10 carries 90 yards so a nice game for him and uh, Max Ganey three receptions 67 yards pair of touchdowns and then that kickoff return to open the game as well for Bullet East only four first downs 56 total yards negative 10 yards rushing 66 yards passing so rough sledding Jack Zwerneman 8 of 11 for 66 yards I mean from from that standpoint that's pretty solid that six yards of play completing over 70 percent of his throws just hasn't been a lot for Zwerneman to work with yeah, that's been the only bright spot is their passing game. But, uh, you know, just some penalties and just lack of consistency has, uh, uh, you know, stopped them from getting in the end zone. Well, the Chargers will get the football out of intermission. So, you know, it's uh, possibly too late this week. But, you know, it's, it's a long season. You you grow in leaps and bounds. You, you mature in leaps and bounds. And, Certainly capable of, at the very least, learning some things moving forward. And who knows? They've, they've moved the ball well. They've got a talented team. Keegan Kendrick is an excellent coach. That was a masterful hire by Bullet East, and that's a guy, if they can keep him there over the long haul, I think they're going to have a lot more success with him. Oh, no doubt about it. He's definitely shown that uh, uh, they can have a bright future as long as he keeps some decent talent coming in. Just, you know, really, really successful start for that coach. Yeah. And meanwhile, for Mayo, it is a distinguished senior class. They're saying goodbye to him. Just going to run down some of the names in case I don't get to say them otherwise. Kevin Wilson, DJ Grenter, Max Ganey, Shamai Gates, Demarcus Robertson, Kevin Rogers, DeAndre Malone, Kamari Taylor, Coulter Smith, Josh Fuller, Austin Witten, Brendan Bates, Terrence Hall, Bryson Robbins, Nasir Muhammad, Jermaine Bradley, as well as Daniel Bird, Bryce Strickland, Max Glass, Morris Simpson, Ryan Hepke, Stephen Thomas, Aiden Singleton. And that is the rundown. And I apologize if I missed anybody. Just going down the roster on the, on the spot. Those are the seniors listed for the Bulldogs 
And it's an excellent class. It's going to leave behind a legacy that we're probably 24 minutes away from adding a district title to. Yeah, salute to the Bulldogs seniors. Uh, um, you know, they put on a show tonight. And, uh, uh, again, just congratulations to all those young men. So Mayo to kick it away to open the second half. It is Volandingham who's got the ball teed up. Landingham ready to go, awaiting the all clear. And he's got it. Kicks it away, line drive kick. Going to be returnable from about the five. Clancy, the man who takes it. And he shut down shy of the 30. Nice coverage by the Bulldogs. And we've seen some touchbacks tonight. I guess it's the cold weather. That ball's a little deader off the toe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. <clears throat> Demarcus Robertson got down there to make the tackle. Another Bulldog senior. Yeah, fortunately, as I went through that list, I've gotten to call a lot of those names tonight and hope to call the rest. Apologies to the big guys up front. Sometimes I only see them to pick on them. Zwerneman drops to throw. Fires over the middle. Sliding attempt up at the 45. Did he get it? Yes, Spalding with the grab. Spalding's had a pretty solid night. Yeah, he's, he's the target on most of these passing plays. Kamari Taylor on the stop. First down. Zwerneman under a big rush. Dumps it out of there. That really could have been grounding. Close. Yeah. I, they may yet decide to call that. I mean, he was right in the edge of the pocket. There's no receiver. There, there it is. Yep. That bulldog pressure. Yeah, I mean, Zwerneman clearly was just trying to get out of there and check it down, but he didn't get a lot of gas on that throw. No. Yeah, I didn't see anybody in the general vicinity no, down there. So. there wasn't, so. Well, let's see. They're picking it up now. Nope. Yeah, now they'll say it's not grounding. Well, what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> Second down at 10. That one doesn't make a lot of sense to me. No flag, and they get together and talk and throw a flag, and then they talk a little more and pick the flag up. So Not sure what that was about. Second and ten for the Chargers. West headed left. Zorneman throwing over the middle. Got a man, and it's caught down to about the 30-yard line. A nice drive going here for Bullet East. Caden Bostock, the target. First down for the Chargers. Down to about the 29-yard line. Taylor on the tackle. Another great pass play. He's got some time. He's dangerous back there. Jornman rolls left. He throws. He's got a man. It's caught. And out of bounds. Looks like probably a first down there on the completion. He said Baker is the man who caught it. Boy, this has got a little momentum with this passing game they're on this drive. They're moving quickly. First down at the 15. Zorneman looks to throw, fires, it's caught. His receiver breaks free, but he can't break away. He's taken down Caden Cowan. Still a nice gain on first down. A really nice gain. They're putting together a great drive. Robertson on the tackle. Second down and call it two. Down at about the seven-yard line. Empty set here for Zorneman. Going to throw, does throw, incomplete. So it'll be third down. Not a bad throw even there. I mean, you it put wasn't. it outside, your guy's going to catch it or it's going to go out of bounds. It wasn't. I mean, they've been showing, showing, uh, uh, you know, some positive, uh, uh, some positive action in the uh, passing game in spurts. Again, just no consistency tonight. But this drive has been different. Third and short for the Chargers. Down four scores, but moving it here. 
Looks like we've got a male defender to jump across. Yep. That should get him a first down. It shall. I think Robertson was trying to get an early run ago there. Well, first and goal now for the Chargers. It's only taken them barely over a minute. Jack Swerneman says, don't count us out just yet. First and goal at the threes. Warnerman calls his own number. He's near the goal line. Did he get there? Yes, he did. Touchdown. He's in the end zone. So, Bullet East opens their scoring. Takes them only a minute and 16 seconds to drive it down. Solid drive for the Chargers that time. Really threw the ball well that, that drive. As Warnerman is going to hold it. Campbell to kick it. Haven't been real successful in the kicking game. High snaps. Werneman gets it down, but it is blocked. So no good. 28 to 6. Males lead, and we'll go to the break on Glycod. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Well, Bullet East breaks through the shutout, 28-6. The lead now, Jax Werneman takes it in from three yards out. Impressive opening drive for the Chargers. Very impressive. Head mill uh, defense reeling a little bit that time, so uh, hopefully they can regroup and uh, come out and make a stand next, next drive. All right, I'm looking at personnel here because we've already seen Mayo snuck Max Ganey into position to get a nice return earlier. Harris is back deep. There's no chance on earth they're going to kick it to him. I see Ganey up shorter. See if he moves around here. Here comes the kickoff. Now they kick right to him, it looks like. Here he comes from about the 20, trying to break off left. And this time he's... Hauled in down about the 32, 33-yard line. Played it much better, did the Chargers. They did. Nice tackle. They kept it away from Harrison Ganey that time. But okay. It's a, uh, again, just so much talent. You know, they got a ton of guys who can get in the end zone. So Elder on the tackle for Bullet East. First down for Mayo then. Smith still in there. He hopped off a little bit at the end of the half, but he looks fine now. I would think the Bulldogs will start to lean on that, that running game a little bit this drive. First down their own 32. Smith's under center. They run it inside. Gates out across the 35. Keeps his legs churning for a gain of about five yards. Yeah, that was a nice play. Again, I would expect them to run the ball. You know, they've been running it effectively all game, so uh, uh, now it's the time to go ahead and pull it out. Second down and five for the Bulldogs. Jefferson wide to the right. So it gets Grinter wide left. An empty set here for Coulter Smith. He's got three receivers left, so he's going to throw. He throws right. It's caught up to the 39, trying to shake free. It's Ganey, and he got near the first down sticks. I think he may be just short. Right. And you missed the Ganey makes the guy miss call. <laughs> <laughs> that happens so much. Right. Tournament on the tackle. And it uh, looks like it's a first down. So I'm 0 for 2 in the half. Huh? <laughs> Ganey got five, moves the sticks. 
Yeah, cost another guy uh, an ankle or two on that one. Oh, yeah. So tough to get his hands on. And in motion, they run backside. It's Gates, and he hits midfield and breaks. 45, 40, 35, and he's taken down around the 30-yard line. Put Shemai Gates over 100 yards tonight. He's had a great game tonight. I mean, he's ran so hard, ran out of his helmet that time, but uh, uh, nice, solid, nice, solid game by him tonight. O'Brien on the tackle for Bullet East. A first down for the Bulldogs, and that running game has just been daunting tonight. It has. It has. You know, with those two big backs, they're running strong. You know, they're smart. Like I said, they're fast. Tough one-two combo. First down about the 28-yard line. Culture Smith. They're going to run Burton off that right side. He picks up a couple, but a flag comes in. This one was out on the edge. It's still probably on the Bulldogs, but not quite as certain as those ones closer to the line of scrimmage where you can almost guarantee a hold. I thought I saw Coulter call the hold, actually. Hmm. Maybe he saw something back there. Yeah. Looks yeah. like they may have picked the flag up. Did he pick it up? No, they, they indicated that the penalty was on the Bulldogs. Oh, okay, I missed that. That is a hold. Yeah, the way you mark the ball forward to mark the ball backward can be a little disorienting. Right. So first and long now for the Bulldogs. Off the holding penalty. Pushes them back to about the 37-yard line. Smith gives Gates. Gates trying to pick his way right, and he breaks a hole down inside the 25, down to the 20, down to about the 15. Shemai Gates just running that ball like a man on a mission. He looks great tonight. He really, really does. Again, like I said, hitting those holes and, and uh, uh, running that ball really, really hard. He picked up 22. He may be on his way to a 200-yard night. Might owe that offensive line some lunch on Monday. There you go. First down at the 14 for the Bulldogs. Coulter Smith. He's got Gates on his left hip. Coulter to throw it. Fires. It's caught. Turning up field is target out there. Grenter on the catch. Picks up about seven or eight. Yeah, he's had a pretty good game tonight. It's caught about three or four balls. Nice drive by the Bulldogs yeah, as well. Good answer. I mean, Bullet East goes right down the field, takes barely a minute. And now Mayo just grinding back away. Second down and about four to go. Put him down in the vicinity of about the seven yard line here. Smith got Ganey in the slot. But they run backside with Shemai Gates. I think he got the first down. It's a long way over there, but uh, I'll await further confirmation, but it looked like he was in the vicinity of it. Well, maybe just shy. Just shy. I love the balance by the Bulldogs tonight, you know, between the run and the, uh, the pass. Third down and call it a yard. Smith still stays in, not going wildcat here. Gates is the setback behind him. They give it Gates. Gates got the first down. Did he get in? Yes, he did. He's Touchdown, Shemai Gates. Great call, great run. Touchdown, Bulldogs. So the breathing room opens back up here. That's the right. Bullet East had closed down to a three-score edge, and Mayo goes right back down the field. I believe it's Henson. It is for the extra point. Snaps there, kicks away. 
It's high, it's long, and it is good. Males edge 35-6. We'll be right back here on Glycod. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycod. The Bulldogs with an answering score. Pull it back to 35-6. to six. Shemai Gates having a great game. Takes one into the end zone. I think he earned that one for sure, Dion. Oh, no doubt about it. He's been running hard all night. He deserved to get in the end zone. Really, really big game for that young man. So three for Ganey, one for Gates, one for Burton. That's where the Bulldogs stand. This impressive senior night performance against Bullet East. Hanson kicks it away. Line drive kick, and that one did find the end zone. There you go. Great kick that time. Now on a cold night, you really got to put a toe into that yeah. ball to get across the goal line, and he did. That was all him. I don't think we have any wind. Oh, we have a little bit of a breeze here. I see I'm looking at the flags. Yeah, it hasn't been much of an influence tonight. My feet are getting a little cold. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, it did cool off a little bit, didn't it? No. Yeah. Not bad. Tim Bryan says it's still 55 degrees. Football weather. I'm getting soft. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> First down for the Chargers, their own 20. Is Ornament still the man at quarterback? Got everybody packed in tight this time. He looks to throw, gets some heat, rolls away from it. He scrambles. He's going to run it, and he gains a handful of yards and gets escorted out into his own bench area. Solomon Conley, the man who chased him down. Smart play. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing from Zwerneman. He's come a long way since week two. Yeah, I'm not sure he comes off the field. I mean, he's punting, he's holding yeah, extra that's points. that's true. He's, <laughs> he's always out there, isn't he? Second down, Zwerneman to throw. Fires downfield. He's got a man up across the 30. That's a first down for Spalding. Those two definitely have got some chemistry together. Spalding's had a solid, solid game today. It looks like he's got a, came into the game with six touchdowns on the season. Uh, uh, is that 22 catches? It feels like he's had about that many tonight. He right. probably has six or seven. Oh, easy, easy. Harris with the tackle, first down. Chargers. We hit the midpoint of the third quarter. Two receivers each way on this play. As Ornaman looks to throw, pressure comes. He fires it up. Closest guy to it was a male defensive back. I believe that's Antonio Harris, but uh, falls safely to the ground incomplete. Some yeah, it looked like there was a miscommunication. There was not a charger in the in the vicinity there. Yeah, Malone bringing down some thunder on Zwerneman. He's done a good job ducking around and under and through, but there's only so many times you can right, get away. Right. Second down and ten. You can imagine how much better this Bullet East offense would be if the running game was more stout. Oh gosh, time. they'd be dangerous. Everybody's bunched in again. Zwerneman to throw again. Pressure comes again. Nice fake, and now floats it over to Spalding, who goes across midfield down to a near the 40-yard line. A flag comes in. Is that a late hit? What is that? Or a face mask, maybe? Face mask, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I think the male players over there are upset with each other, so that would seem to support that theory. Robertson on the tackle. They're probably saying, who the heck's got Spalding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's had a fine game tonight. Yeah, that, that probably took him over 100 yards. He's had a great game tonight. Yeah, yeah he was the number two receiver coming into tonight. 22 grabs, 395 yards, six touchdowns. The flag is on Bullet East, so... The personal foul will back it up some. I guess it's going to go from the end of the play, so 
It's still going to be a second down in middling for the Chargers, but uh, wiped out a nice play by Spalding right there. Yeah, that, that's frustrating as a coach. I mean, you make a big play like that and have it brought back for a lack of discipline. A second down and about three. Zwerneman fires over the middle and oh, into boy. and through the hands of Solomon Conley. Almost a pick. Yeah, <laughs> he Those drops to the done. ground and does his push-ups, yeah. As he should. Ball hits you in the hands. we got to have it. Yep. Cracked me up, but uh, he's had a heck of a season, heck of a night, uh, but yeah, couldn't quite haul that one in. Third down now for the Chargers of Bullet East. Same bunched in formations. Horniman to throw out of it, and pressure comes. He's trying to get away, and somebody's closing, and down he goes. Boy, it was like a heat-seeking missile off exactly. the edge right there for the Bulldogs. Wow. Nasir Muhammad just came up from the secondary. Dorsey in there, too, but it was Muhammad who he just came flying in. Just too much pressure. I mean, he didn't even have a you know any space to throw the ball away. No. Um, yeah, that Mel Haskell defense has been relentless tonight. No, fourth down and long, a punting situation. Ball back around the 30-yard line. Call it fourth and 14 here. Ganey just behind midfield awaiting this punt from Zwerneman. They shift some guys right. He rolls that way and does a rugby kick. Here's the snap. He's rolling. He didn't roll far, but he just booted it and got a nice toe into it. Fair catch called for and taken by Ganey back at the 30-yard line. Now, this guy's Werneman, just impressive. He's always got something else that he pulls out. <laughs> when you think you've got him figured out, you know, then he just blasts a punt, and Ganey doesn't like to do that, to take a fair catch running backward, but uh, that was a, a boot right there. It was. It was. That young man's playing a solid game from about three or four positions, I feel like. Yeah. Covered 40 yards and did it in a way that didn't allow for a return, so that's a net win for the Chargers right there. They all start at their own 30. Burton the running back now. And now Mayo kind of bunches everybody in. Here goes Burton, left side, picking his way. Got five, got 10, got 11. First down for Chase Burton out to the 41 or so. Nice run by Burton that time. Bullet East closed it down with Clancy and Elder. And a first down for the Bulldogs. Mayo's ground game has kind of been the story tonight. The passing game has been impressive when they needed it, but uh, they could just line up and run it every play and get out of here with a W. I'd say so. First down at the 41. Fake to Burton, flip to Ganey, and this time he gets lit up. Hit pretty good by Jacob Clancy, and now we got some issues coming in. You've got to be disciplined, and hopefully everybody can calm down. Ganey uh, kind of bounced off his own guy there. <laughs> right. Second and long. Even though he threw the ball, that was essentially a run play to Ganey. Yeah. And Colin Jefferson out there trying to set the edge, and Ganey just ran right into his back. And well, Clancy make about as easy of a tackle of Max Ganey as you can. Catch him falling down. <laughs> right. Smith hands it off. This is Burton out across the 40 to 45. He gets it up to a third and short on a nice physical run for Chase Burton. That was a good run. And again, another good push by that male offensive line. They're really giving these backs uh, uh, some opportunities to make big plays. There aren't many teams that can compete with male size in the trenches, and it's become pretty apparent in this one that the Bullies Chargers are just not one of those. They've got some playmakers out on the edge. They've got some guys who play some nice, disciplined football, but 
Where the rubber meets the road in the middle of the field, it's gone the Bulldogs' way. Yes, the entire night. Third and three at the 47. Smith settles him in. Turns around, gives backside to Burton. First down, 45, 43, 41. Chase Burton churning out some yards now. Another great job of hitting the hole. You know, uh, again, another good uh, uh, good push by that offensive line by the Mill Bulldogs. Clancy on the stop for Bullet East. Mail just imposing their will here. Smith in the pistol look. Burton behind him. Now he goes under center, does Coulter Smith. Fake to Chase Burton. Looks to throw. Got time. Now it breaks down, and he throws it away as he gets belted. Incomplete. Smart decision by the, by the senior quarterback. Yeah. <clears throat> even though I'm surprised they're even throwing the ball, to be quite honest. <laughs> yeah. Second down for the Bulldogs. Burton is going wide to the right this time because it's an empty set for Coulter Smith. Jefferson and Ganey left. Harris... And Burton and somebody else to the right. Quick hitter to Ganey. Can't make the man miss and tackled right about where he caught the football. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he got him right when you need to get Ganey as soon as the ball touches his hands. Clancy on the tackle. He's gotten Ganey a couple times now. Third and long. Now. I don't want to be the bearer of the jinx here. Bulldogs haven't been stopped offensively tonight. They haven't. And they weren't stopped offensively last week. So they've got about a seven-quarter streak running, which might hinge on this play right here on third and ten. Let's see what happens here. Bunched in pretty tight. Burton the back. And he takes it left. He's got some real estate to cover. And he got it down to a fourth and manageable. We'll have to see exactly where they spot it, but uh, it was a pretty nice gain for Chase Burton. But it's not going to move the sticks just yet. Fourth down. Again, I'm surprised they threw the ball on the first two downs. I mean, they've been running the ball so effectively yeah. this whole game. Spotted on about the 35, so call it a fourth down and about three. And the offense will stay out, so. Burt in the back. Ganey to the left, Grinter to the right, but everybody's bunched in tight. Here on fourth and three. Grinter now goes left to right. They give Burton on the backside first down, and he goes inside the 30. I love the play call. I love the play call. That says you've got a lot of confidence in those big guys up front yep. when you got to have three on fourth down and you run between the tackles. I mean, why would you not? I mean, they hadn't let you down all game. So, no. so first down. And unless Mayo's in a hurry to run another play, that will end the quarter, and it does not appear that they are. So the Bulldogs still have not been stopped, and they will take that streak into the fourth quarter as they hold a 35-6 lead over the Bullet East Chargers here on Senior Night at Mayo. Fourth quarter coming up here on Glycod. When you're buying or selling a new home and you want to do it with few hassles, count on Polo Real Estate Group. Founded and owned by 1993 Mail High graduate Dion Reese, Polo Real Estate has over two decades of experience and offers skillful consultation and representation for your sale or purchase. If you're a new or experienced agent and you would like to join Polo Real Estate, contact them at 502-702-7656. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. 
For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the home ownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. This segment of tonight's game is brought to you by Ruoff Mortgage. For an intuitive, simple, and stress-free mortgage process, visit Ruoff.com. Ruoff Mortgage, opening doors. So the fourth quarter will open with Mail on the Bullet East 29-yard line. First down there. Coulter Smith still in there at quarterback. We'll go shotgun this time. Two receivers left, one right. Smith's going to throw. Flips it out. Little quick hitter. I believe that's Ganey. Short yardage, not much there. Bullet East closed in pretty quickly. Brady Cornell on the tackle for the Chargers. Yeah, again, I'm surprised they're not leaning on that running game. I mean, you know, 35-6. I mean, that offensive line is getting a great push. They have been all night. And I don't know if we had a flag there, but, uh, yeah, we did. It's like a hold on mail. So, aside from the fact that the play didn't go very far anyway, now it's wiped out. Wow. So spot it back at the 39, first and 20 after the penalty. Been a pretty quiet night on that front for the Bulldogs. They've avoided too many infractions. They have. They, they had a couple at the very beginning, but uh, got it under control. Walter Smith going to go under center. Renter goes across formation. They turn and give it to Gates, and he cracks his way through for a couple yards down to about the 36. Nice stop by the Chargers. Another good hard run, but a decent stop by the Chargers that time. Second down and long here. They've got it at the... 36. Uh, second and 17. Early in this fourth quarter. Smith settles in under center. Everybody's bunched in. Play fake, and Smith rolls right. Looks to throw, fires, gain. He's got it to 25, and he takes it down to the 20. First down for the Bulldogs, I believe. It's right in the vicinity of the sticks. He's close for sure. Yeah. Clancy on the tackle for Bullet East. They're going to put it at the 21, so he's just shy. Third and short. Smith's got Burton as his running back here. Third and a short two. Nice call. Burton's got it. Nice call. Up the middle, first down. Keeps those legs churning. Down two and maybe across the 15-yard line. I didn't know where they were going, but I'm thinking, hey, I'm going to give it to Burton and let him go get me three yards. Brady Cornell on the tackle. First down, and they spot it at the 15. Burton, the running back here in the shotgun formation beside Coulter Smith. Everybody bunched in again. Ganey to the left. And a flag comes in just as the ball is snapped. Okay. 
Dead ball. Offside. Mayo. Offsides on Mayo is the call. Bulldog getting a little sloppy on this drive. Yep, well, backs him up five to the 20-yard line, first and 15. Josh Fuller in there. The slot receiver spot, but bunched in so tight, it's like he's a tight end. Burton is set back. Smith gives it to him. Not much there this time. Bullet East tracked that one pretty well. Got back to the line, but not much more. Not much at all. Second down and 15. He might have gotten a yard, but... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, say he did. Second and 14. Ball's at the 19. Bulldogs have gotten a little stagnant here. Let's see what they uh, see what they go to this time. Burton, the running back. They're going out of this bunched-in formation again. Smith's got it, and flags fly yet again. See what we've got this time. Well, it was like the official was going to call it, but now instead he'll come talk to Chris Wolf. I like to talk to Chris Wolf too, but uh, we can <laughs> play the game first, perhaps. It's offside wow. against Mail again. Wow. I'm not sure I've ever seen two offside penalties on an offense. I didn't see anybody jump. Somebody must be lining up offsides. Yeah. That's got to be the only possible explanation. And Wolf's coming out now. I said, hey, guys. <laughs> Stop doing it. <laughs> Timeout Mail. We'll take the break as well. 35-6 Mail here on Glycod. Family owned and operated since 1946, Thomas Car Wash has specialized in making Louisville cars look fresh and clean. Co-owned by 2006 Mill graduate Alex Thomas, Thomas Car Wash has four convenient locations, including their newly renovated one at 5321 Preston Highway, just a mile down from Mail. Additional locations include 6511 Preston Highway, 4139 Bardstown Road, and one at the intersection of Hurstbourne Parkway and Taylorsville Road. From full service to express water, Washes to detailing and towel drying. Wash local with Thomas Car Wash. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Mail up 35 to 6, but uh, a pair of offensive offside penalties. I see something new every day. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, Wolf's out there talking to the ref. The ref's talking to the male Bulldogs. It's something that they're not they're not doing something properly. Yeah. yeah. Two Whatever quick, it two is. Two quick penalties in a row, yeah. But it's odd that it waited until the fourth quarter to manifest right. itself. I, I don't think they started doing whatever they're doing just now, but I digress. Second and long. All out to the 24 after the flag. And now the officials are huddled up near the bullet east side. And they're talking about something. I see three. Okay. Coach Kendrick is over there. Okay. That was what I couldn't see. I assume they're having some variation of the same conversation with him. And he looks nonplussed. But uh, in any case... I mean, could this be one of those, like, simulating the, the, the signal kind of deals? We see some of that these days. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. Know. That's got me. Second and 19 at the 24. Smith is under center. Play fake. Smith's going to throw. He does throw. It's Ganey, and he's got it down to 
about the 14-yard line. So a pickup of 10 on the play. Coulter Smith with a nice throw again. Boy, he, he's been smooth tonight. He has. He has. Really solid game by Coulter tonight. Third and nine ball at the 14. Burton the setback. Ganey's got a lot of green over there. Smith going to give Burton right side. He's down near the 10, but I don't think he's going to get much farther. If he even made the 10, we'll have to see. Going to be a fourth down in Midland here. They're in field goal range. It'll be interesting to see what they choose to do here. Now fourth down and fourth and seven at the 12. It looks like they're going to try to keep that streak going. Yeah. <laughs> now the offense appears to be going to go. Smith's up under center. Burton is set back behind him. Smith fakes to Burton, gives Harris on the end around. Harris cuts it up, first down. Did he get in? Ooh. Not quite. Ooh. First and goal, Antonio Harris. Boy, he turned that corner in a hurry. Oh, man, he's got some speed. He got about as close as you could get without getting in. Yeah, he was reaching that ball out, but apparently didn't quite get there. I like the play call, too. Keep first it on the ground, goal. get it back in Harris's hands. I think we're going to see the Wild Gates here. Yep. Gates and Burton both in there. This Indeed is we are. I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to keep the thought in my pocket here. <laughs> please, please do. <laughs> First and goal from the one. Gates keeps it himself. Does he crack in? Yes, he does. Shemai Gates with a one-yard touchdown run. The thought, of course, is that sometime he's going to throw out of that. But All right. He didn't need to. Definitely not now. Second touchdown of the night for Shemai Gates, who's had a fine game. Oh, he's had a great game. Great game. Really ran the ball hard this night. So the landing ham on for the extra point. Snaps there, kicks away clean, and it's good. 42 to six, start the running clock for the Bulldogs. We'll take a break here on Glycod. I'm your overly competitive brother. Psych, and I'm about to steal this game from you, just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? Foul! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> uh. And if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Contact Louisville and Lexington Allstate agent Thomas Allen for a quote today. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Mail opens up a 42-6 lead on Shemai Gates' second touchdown run of the night. Running clock for the duration now. The landing ham handles the kickoff. It's a line drive. Going to go down to about the six-yard line. Nice return here. Out two and just across the 30-yard line for Jacob Clancy. Yeah, we got the running clock here. If there are any of those seniors who haven't seen any time, no time like the present. Oh, no doubt about it. To no. get them a few snaps. Now's the time. A bullet east with the ball. First down. Out at the 33-yard line. They run it backside. I believe that's West on the carry, and he's... Out near the 40, but just shy of that. A, about a five-yard pickup for Michael West. That may be one of the best pickups they've had uh, tonight from the run game. Yeah. 
Negative yardage at halftime, and I don't think anything's happened to change that, really. Second and five. Full house backfield for Zorneman. And they're going to take the air out of the football some, it looks like. It's West again. He crosses the 40. He's got the first down up to about the 43 or maybe even 44-yard line. Malone on the tackle for the Bulldogs. Chargers having a little success running the ball these last couple of plays. Yep. First down at the 43. Zwerneman has got uh, Clancy in the backfield now. Or did shift around. Zwerneman under pressure, and he's going to be sacked. Great tackle. That Nasir Muhammad again? He's had a great game. He's had a great game. Again, salute to another male Bulldog senior. Yeah, a senior night to remember for him. No doubt. He gets downhill in a hurry, and he's used that to take Jack Zwerneman down a couple times tonight. Second and long now. Call it 22. All over but the shouting here at Mayo. Bulldogs up 42 to 6. Zwerneman is going to call a timeout. So we'll take that break with 4.06 to play. Mail in control here on Glycon. I'm your overly competitive brother. Psych, and I'm about to steal this game from you. Just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? Foul! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> and if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Contact Louisville and Lexington Allstate agent Thomas Allen for a quote today. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Mail a 42-6 advantage. Wrapping up a district title. District 4 in Class 6A. And they are bracketed with teams from District 6 in 6A in the postseason. Winner of great or the loser of Great Crossing in Campbell County will come here to Veterans Memorial Stadium in two weeks. Second and 22s, Werneman going with the full backfield again, drops to throw. Pressure comes. He throws underneath, complete, out to about the 38, maybe the 40-yard line. Nice play there. Who else would it be but Spalding? Spalding. Great game by Spalding tonight. Good job getting open. He's catching the ball. Yeah, if I'm, I'm Spalding in that locker room, you know, a 30-odd point loss, I'm saying, hey, I got mine tonight, guys. Right, right. <laughs> He's done his part for sure. Third and 11 for the Chargers. Weren't them in to throw. Pressure comes. Fires. Oh, Tip picks. It is caught out of there. Out at about the 37-yard line. What a play. Solomon Conley, he dropped one earlier. Got I think he made Got up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knocked those push-ups out and uh, uh, caught the <laughs> next one. That was a much harder catch, but... Uh, those guys play defense for a reason, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this may be one of the rare games Bullet East hadn't won the turnover game, so. Yeah. Their first one for today, so. Yeah, I think it is. And, uh, you know, this, this male offense is not making a lot of mistakes right they now. They are not. They take over at about the 37-yard line. I suspect we will see them just cruise home with it. Yeah. See some new faces out there on the field. Let's see who 
And got in at quarterback here. A little bit of confusion. Yeah. Here he comes. Nate Joseph is going to take the snaps. You don't see a lot of quarterbacks wear 84. Well, Nate Joseph is one. <laughs> you go, Nate. Nate's going to turn around and hand it off inside the 35 down to about the 31. I believe it's Markalen Churn. Yes, he's uh, the ball carrier. Saw a lot of him in the Fern Creek game. Yeah, you can put almost anybody behind that male high school offensive line right now. Yeah. Clancy on the tackle. Churn's a good runner, too. Oh, I'm sure. If they need him down the line, he'll be ready. Plus, it always gives me a good chance to bust out my best pun work about churning and <laughs> keeping his legs churning. That's right. All that fun stuff. It's just an added bonus. See if Nate Joseph gives it to him again. Joseph, churn. And he keeps his legs churning, and I believe he got a first down because of it. He did. Great, great run, young man. Clancy on the tackle. Probably one more play. Those male high school running backs are being coached well. I mean, those kids really run hard over there. Chris Wolf tells Nate Joseph what he wants. <laughs> 26 yard line. One more snap. Like victory formation. Yeah, there. it does. That deep guy moved up. And now somebody else moves back. And Joseph drops to a knee. It's Kamari Young who shifted over behind him. And count down the final seconds. It's another district championship for the Mayo Bulldogs. A year ago, Bullet East shocked the Bulldogs. But tonight, no shock in this stadium. So maybe a little shock in all. And a 42-6 Bulldog victory. We'll be back on the other side to recap it, catch you up on scores, and name tonight's most outstanding players for Males. 42-6 win over Bullet East here on Glycott. I'm your overly competitive brother. Psych. And I'm about to steal this game from you, just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? No! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> And if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Contact Louisville and Lexington Allstate agent Thomas Allen for a quote today. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on... For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. Glycon on YouTube is Kentuckiana's fastest growing high school sports video site. When you click to subscribe, don't forget to tap the bell and be notified of our upcoming live broadcasts and other unique video content. Subscribe for free now at youtube.com backslash Glycon. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path. Rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. 
The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. Hey, uh, I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets. Cuckoo crusties. There's no promo. It's just great rates. And a cider ranch. For your surprisingly great home and auto rate, call State Farm agent Brian Morrison in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Tonight's post-game recap is brought to you by State Farm Insurance Agents Brian Morrison and Mike Shelton. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Joe Cox and Dion Reese back here at Mayo where the Bulldogs a 42-6 winner. I like that the clock has 20-23. That's a, a fun it. trick, Dion. <laughs> I did want to mention the second half of tonight's game as I prepare to recap that second half. Uh, was presented by Allstate Insurance agent Thomas Allen, proudly serving Louisville and setting high standards for the services his team provides their clients. It's Thomas Allen. At intermission, it was 28-0. The second half scoring recap went like this. Bullet East came out and put together a very nice opening drive. Zwerneman, a three-yard touchdown run, breaks the shutout. Uh, the extra point was blocked, 28-6. Males lead at that point, 10-44 to go in the third quarter. But just as big, Mayo comes right back down and answers, drives it down. Shamai Gates takes it in from five yards out. Hence an extra point, makes it 35-6, to 6, 6.31 to go in the third quarter. And then Gates gets in one more time. Harris just about snuck in on an end around, but he was taken down at the one. So Gates cleaned it up, one-yard touchdown run. Well, Anningham's extra point got us to running clock territory at 42-6 to 6 with 7.07 in the game, and that's where we finish. Um, an impressive victory. Uh, we were talking during the break, and you said you, you felt like Mail was playing the best football, you know, in, in Class 6A right now. Uh, the only thing is that there's still one week of regular season and then hopefully a long playoff run to go, but you have to be happy with where the Bulldogs are at tonight. I do. I am. You know, they had a great showing tonight, a uh, uh, senior night again. Salute to all those seniors uh, uh, for the Mill Bulldogs. But I really do think that the uh, uh, Bulldogs are playing their best, their best football at the right time. And the loser of the Great Cross and Great Crossing, and I believe it was Campbell County. Yes, Campbell County game tonight will come here in two weeks. But first, mail over to Manuel next week. That'll be a great one. And uh, looking forward to that and then seeing the Bulldogs enter postseason play, which they do again as the district champ. We're going to step aside for a brief break. We'll be back with some score updates and then give you tonight's most outstanding players. Mail a 42-6 to six win over Bullet East on Glycon. For surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Mike Shelton in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Tradition means values, and we want a banker who has the same philosophy. Traditional bank is a Kentucky-based business, and that does mean a lot to a business that is based in Kentucky. They know what we're going through. They are always there for us, 
and that means more than anything else. My name is Allison. I choose Traditional Bank because of the personal service. Paddle on into Canoe, Kentucky. When you're buying or selling a new home and you want to do it with few hassles, count on Polo Real Estate Group. Founded and owned by 1993 male high graduate Dion Reese, Polo Real Estate has over two decades of experience and offers skillful consultation and representation for your sale or purchase. If you're a new or experienced agent and you would like to join Polo Real Estate, contact them at 502-702-7656. Polo Real Estate Group, a realtor you can trust. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service. And that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. Blind Direct, not just blind. Blind Direct, not just blind. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Mail a 42 to 6 winner over Bullet East, but this was far from the only action tonight. It was one of the earlier games given our kickoff, so some of these still going on. Meath County hanging in there with Manuel, giving them a fight. 24 to 14, the Crimson lead, uh, but uh, still over a quarter to play there. Most of these games not quite that competitive, though. St. X all over PRP, Ballard all over Eastern, Trinity all over Oldham County. Go figure. Cal. Uh, 48 points a minute into the third quarter. That's that's just kind of the story with uh, with that one. Central puts up 42 on LaRue County already. And Atherton and Fairdale, the other somewhat competitive game, along with that Manuel Meade County game, Atherton up 17-6. to six. Uh, District play, a lot getting sorted out. And again, by winning tonight, um, Mayo will host the loser of the Great Cross and Campbell County game. The winner of that game will now play Bullet East. So... That uh, much is clear from tonight's picture. More, of course, will be clear next week. Um, but we'll see how that all shakes down. We've got some games to talk about next week on Glycod as well coming up. Um, Hopkinville is going to be playing at PRP, the regular season finale for those teams, North Oldham at Oldham County, and Boyle County at Frederick Douglass. Boy, that one. Uh, Went down to Boyle County and did that game, I guess, last year. Okay. And Frederick Douglass just dropped the hammer on them, and they don't they don't know what that's like at Boyle County. They didn't know how to react. Uh, so I got a feeling that one's going to be pretty darn heated. We're going to have those games for you on Glycod. Maybe some others. Keep checking in. Glycod.com on the artist formerly known as Twitter, now known as X, at Glycod, G-L-I-C-O-D. Step aside for one more break. Come back. Dion and I will tell you tonight's most outstanding players. There's a lot to like from Mayo's outstanding performance, a 42-6 win over Bullet East for the district title here on Glycod. For surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Brian Morrison in Louisville today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path. Rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. 
I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. Hi, I'm Sarah Neely. I'm the financial manager at Mill Ridge Farm. Whenever you transition financial institutions, there's a tremendous amount of paperwork involved. Traditional banks streamlined this paperwork and they just made it very simple. Traditional Bank is a locally owned bank that allows us to operate on an international platform. They make my life better, they make my job easier, and they make Mill Ridge a better place. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Last season, Glycod streamed over 160 games. As our presence grows throughout Kentucky and Southern Indiana, we have a need for production, sales, and social media support. If you've ever wanted to pursue a career in the fast-paced world of broadcasting but didn't know how, these opportunities could be for you. For more information, please contact info at glycod.com. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycod. Back to Bale High School, where the Bulldogs a 42-6 win over Bullet East. And in wrapping it up, it's the time of the night when we name our most outstanding players. Tonight's most outstanding players are presented by State Farm Insurance agents Mike Shelton and Brian Morrison. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Bullet East, Tyler Spaulding, don't have final stats. He had five catches at halftime. He may have equaled that again in the second half. Definitely eclipsed 100 receiving yards. Pretty much any time they made a good play on offense, Tyler Spaulding was on the business end of it. He was. I mean, and it started at the very beginning of the game, and he was catching balls at the end of the game. So uh, uh, as far as uh, Tyler Spaulding goes, you really couldn't have asked for much more uh, from him. Mail, this was one of the harder choices we've ever had. Three touchdowns for Max Ganey. And each one was spectacular. But at the end of the day, it really was a night that was about the ground game. The last update I had on Shemai Gates had him at 156 rushing yards. He had another touchdown after that. So he was probably pushing 200 rushing yards and was just dominant. Chase Burton was excellent too. But Shemai Gates, two touchdowns tonight. And, again, comfortably over 150, probably at least 170 or 180 on the ground. And, could have had more if he wanted it, frankly. Yeah, you could have flipped a coin between Gates and uh, Ganey, but uh, uh, like you said, uh, um, uh, Gates was just dominant tonight, you know, yep. consistently throughout the game, and, uh, um, you know, he's our player of the game. Big win for the Bulldogs as they are district champions and, again, play at manual next week and then into postseason play. Uh, congrats to their team and thanks to my team. My team, the senior producer, Steve Bird, my producer here in the box, Tim Bryan. Uh, on the camera, Max Gormley. Thank you, Max. Always appreciate you. Dion Reese, my left-hand man, my analyst. Always a pleasure to work with you. Ryan Cox, my spotter. And uh, he's the guy who keeps me uh, with the playlists on the road trip to get here. So, uh, you know, <laughs> I love that, it. that's pretty essential right there. But uh, thanks from all of us to all of you. Stay tuned. One more week in the regular season, and then hopefully some long weeks of postseason football ahead here on Glycod. Tonight, Mail, a 42-6 to win over Bullet East. Thanks, and good night, everybody, from Glycod. From Glycod, this has been IBEW Local 369 Louisville Football Friday. 
IBEW Local 369. Power up your potential. Tonight's game was brought to you by Tinsley Family Concessions. Commitment to quality. Polo Real Estate Group. A realtor you can trust. State Farm Insurance Agents Brian Morrison and Mike Shelton. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Blunt Dental Group, straightforward smiles. Allstate Insurance Agent Thomas Allen, he puts you in good hands. Thomas Car Wash and Holy Smokes Barbecue. Visit our website, glicod.com, Facebook and Twitter at Glycod. We thank you for tuning into this live sports presentation from Glycod.